Hi everyone. Round number Lyriel 1 Energy Hello everyone! Welcome back to the case of the Golden Idol! Happy Sunday! Welcome, welcome everybody! And thank you so much for the resubs! Before the stream has even started. <laughs> Hi everyone! Welcome on in! Welcome, welcome! Congratulations on the first Lumseb. Hello, Bree. Hello, Gambler. Hello, Rika. Thank you so much for the, the resub for 14 months. And Lumseb, thank you so much for the 32 months. That is such a big number. I was, I was trying to figure out if that was like two and a half years. It's more than two and a half years. It's eight months. Yeah, it's, it's two years and eight months. Thank you for the resub. And hello, Jack, as well. Welcome, welcome. I hope everyone's had a good weekend. Uh, I've, I've had a fun weekend. Um, I, I watched some um, Japanese women's pro wrestling. Um, I've played a, a film board game with my family, signed some postcards. Um, I slept all day today. <laughs> it's been a pretty good weekend for me. So I, I hope everyone's had a good weekend. And also, yes, I see you spotted. I after after last week's stream, I, I did cave and buy both of the DLC. <laughs> I mean, I've I've been enjoying this so much. Everything about this game is just like it's it's really just scratched that itch that finishing Oprah Din gave me. Like it's it's that exact kind of figuring out the pieces, putting it all together, working out what happened. Like that's that's the part of these that I love. Like the the deduction. The, de the logical deduction aspect of them. That's that's what I find the most fun. And this has been so good. And I'm not even done yet. And there are still so many questions to be asked. So I'm I'm so excited to play more of this. I've, I've been having such a blast with it. <laughs> but yes, hello. How's everyone else's weekends been? I hope I hope it's been restful for everybody. And if it's not, I hope it can be restful soon. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, you finished the spider DLC. Nice. Nice. We'll see how it goes. I plan today to just see how far I get. And like maybe maybe it'll go really well and I'll be super smart and we'll get to the DLC today. Or maybe we won't and it'll be next week. But either way, I'm I'm excited. I, this is great. It's such a good game. Also, Corosilibus, hello. Welcome, welcome. I've decided to be chibi again today so that I can ba -bam, look for clues. Because it definitely helped last time, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't think I would have spotted as much as I did without the magnifying glass. Like, I'm genuinely present, pleasantly, I was going to say presently, pleasantly surprised at how many things I did find without having to resort to the, uh, the shiny clues system. Like, I really like that I've got that as an option where, like, it doesn't give it away fully, but if I have missed something, the game is just very kindly like, hey, there's something over here that you didn't click on. Because, yeah, I, I don't think I would have noticed that little bag outside the window in that one level. <laughs> I think I would have just continued to keep missing that, so that would have been 
that would have taken me a lot longer than it did if I hadn't put the little hint thing on. But yeah, that's only going to be a last resort, though. That's if I really don't think I know where I'm looking. That is my last resort. Almost hint thing. I don't know. Is it a hint thing? I feel like I, I stubbornly don't want to call it a hint system. I mean, I'm not using the in-game hint system, which is like, I'm guessing, more telling you things as opposed to pointing a finger like, look over here. Because it's saying that I, I, I finished the level without hints, so I, I think my, my hint-free streak is still okay. <laughs> but uh, honestly, I don't mind so much too. I'm just really excited to, to figure out the mysteries, to, to figure out what's going on here. Uh, you actually have no idea what the hint system does, haven't seen anyone use it yet. Yeah, I, d I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I've, I've got turning highlights off. Right, I'm going to click continue. Right, because we can go back to chapters we've been in. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no hints accessed. I turned on the little sparkly thing, but I didn't access any hints. I've got a little feeling the hint system will be like maybe like an extra note that's like you you spot a note that tells you that this person is insert name here like it just like gently gives you an answer to help you piece together the rest of it but uh, i don't want to click on it though i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to lose my hint streak <laughs> so i guess we'll never know maybe once i finish the game when i finish the game i'll go back to a random level and use a hint just to see what they're like Anyway, we're now on to chapter three, The Ascent. This is... <gasps> eight. This is eight. Eight. This is the eighth one. Here we go. Chapter three, The Ascent. We have the crowning celebration eight. by the lighthouse. Huh? So this is very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Huh? Uh, I, did, I did add a new... Eight. A couple of new sound alerts today if anybody wanted to have a look through. <laughs> I added a couple of new ones from, from the April Fool's prank. They are now available to be used as... <laughs> yeah, as sound alerts. I love the snake laugh. I, it's so good. I feel like that can be used in so many situations. It can be like a genuine laugh. It can be a sarcastic laugh. It can... It can just be like, I do something silly and Snake is making fun of me. It's, it's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the sounds. Get a doot to begin with, too. Oh. There it is. <laughs> That's the one sound alert that I had forgotten that I changed on Tuesday. <laughs> like, I forgot that I'd changed the heart to that one. And like that that one really got me when it when it first got redeemed on the stream. <laughs> uh it's it's a great sound. I'm pretty sure it's actually someone <laughs> snoring. I think that like uh is it's from like a video of somebody snoring. Which is the funniest thing to me. Like I didn't even realize until I was looking into it a bit more. And then I was seeing stuff online like, oh yeah, it's 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 some person snoring. <laughs> Like, what an incredible snore. Like, awful for anybody else in the same household, but what a what a great snore. <laughs> Come on in, the door's open. Come on in, everybody. Come on in, we're, we're about to start the, the crowning celebration by the lighthouse. Ah, oh, let's see how this goes then. The crowning celebration by the lighthouse. Hmm. 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 Thought it was a cow mooing. It does sound like a cow mooing. <laughs> oh, this music's great though. Oh, someone's uh, someone's over here. Okay, something's happened over here. Oh, I love the music. This is great. Right, let's start by seeing what's happened over here. Ah, the man is not breathing and has a severe wound at the back of his head. Right, got got the ring. We've got two notes here. 
You're to Snake Master. Lately, I have experienced disturbing dreams, and I feel cursed. Are you the source of this with your magic? Oh, I can take cursed. Fabulous. Are you the source of this with your magic? Desist immediately and know that when pushed, my rage is absolute. Why, right, we got the word pushed as well. That's probably going to be relevant. Do not toy with the well-being of the Empire's general, for I do not tolerate being attacked. In many voyages, I have learned the dark arts too. If need be, I will summon a thousand invisible demons to crush your bones. Wow, that's nice. Isn't that nice? So, Proud Beast Master is convinced that Water Snake Master is cursing them. And there's also another note here. Oh, wow, the music. Oh, oh, wow, the music. Oh, oh boy. Uh Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. Yep. That's more the style I expect from this. Oh, wow, okay. That got sinister really quickly. I. That's cool. That's. That's good. This is a great soundtrack. My dear friend, it is not so simple for me to get you a seat alongside me on the court of directors at the Seven Seas Company. As a doctor, I recommend you to stop obsessing over it. It will only unbalance your humours. Let us discuss alternatives at the next party at Kensington Palace. Hmm. Doctor's orders, eh? Right, and here... Ooh. This has been broken. Is there anything else relevant around here? His arm appears to be broken. Anything else? Both his legs appear to be broken. Got a sneaking suspicion he might have been pushed off this lighthouse? Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Nothing to do with grabbing the word pushed. Hmm. Right, let's actually look at these people now then. First of all, what an honor to experience such a historical event. Someone here with a stopwatch. Okay, so it's 25 past 12 at the moment. I presume, yeah. We got the ruby ring, and we got some letters here as well. Dear Water Snake Brother Maker. Brother Maker. Oh, Maker. Is it the Brother Maker because it's the person who initiates people. As the director of the Seven Seas Trading Company, I do not assess work applications. Please go through my official channels so my staff can evaluate your credentials as an attorney. Dark Hand Master JT? I think that's a T. I think it's a T. JT. Hmm. And then here we have, oh, we've got all the names here. Here we go, James Turner. Dr. James Turner. Okay, these are, these are connecting. Protocol of an attempt to demonstrate a miracle. June 23rd, 1791. Uh, location, the lighthouse on Gull Islet, near the Horn of Codhead. Time, noon. Present, Lord Angus McBain, Lord Alistair Koch, Dr. James Turner, Sir Walter Keane, and Mr. Lazarus Hurst, who's the one who was initiated last time. Mm. In charge of notes, Mr. Nicholas Maker. Yeah, we got the name Maker. Okay. So I guess he's making the notes. I, I'm guessing this is probably Nicholas Maker because it says here, Dear Maker. So this was written to him by James Turner. And then over here as well, like with the note saying, As your doctor... Yeah, yeah. As a doctor, I re recommend you stop obsessing over it. Yeah, this was probably also written by James Turner. It's got like the green seal. Did this also have the... No, this had a blue seal though. Hmm. Interesting. Mysterious. Anyway, let's look at the other people. Here, I've brought back your staff, oh Griffin Reborn. Ah! Oh.
There's an idol in this stuff. Hey. Oh, what does that do? Oh, did I keep my notes from last time? I don't think I actually wrote down the notes. I just filled them out in the thinking tab. Because that's like the activate air. A activate air. So using the staff to try and create a miracle, that that would be one way of doing it. If you like summon air and then you can like walk walk in the air or like walk on water. That would be a miracle. Anyway, that uh, the idol is in the staff. So now we know how the miracle happened, but hmm. I've already got a theory. I've got a theory that someone used the staff to walk in the air above the lighthouse thing. And then this guy was like, no, that's just a trick. I can do it too if you give me the staff, give it here. But because of what we know about the idol, where once it's been activated once like this, it has to change to the other one before it'll work again. The staff just straight up wouldn't have worked and he'd just fall. <laughs> so he might not actually have been pushed. I don't know, I could be completely wrong. These are my wild theories before I've even looked at anybody else. But I, I hope that is the case now, because that would be very funny. Wait, look at all the hats. Is this do 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 uh Walter Keen? Walter Keen, because he's got his little hat collection. Ooh. Oh, this is a... Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Dear Master McBain, These threats to contact the Chief Inspector about my past offend me greatly. Being an honest soul, I have no choice but to comply with your base demands. I may have invited Lazarus into our brotherhood, but he has not shared all his secrets with me. Luckily, I had an opportunity to see him practicing this miracle. He has a magical artifact hidden in his cave. When performing the miracle, he input the following glyphs. Then he presses a small lever on the handle of the cane, and it grants him the powers to demonstrate the miracle. I have no doubt that the staff will work just as well in your hands as his. Sincerely, Dark Hand Stewart. I think that's exactly what happened. I think that's exactly what happened. Oh. I think that's what happened. He, he took the staff, but it hadn't been reset properly, so he couldn't do the miracle. <laughs> Wait, this is so funny. I think this probably is Walter Keen. I think having the, the hat collection is the hint. I am I really need to pay more attention to people's faces, because I've... <laughs> There have been so many situations where it's like, oh wait, of course this is the same person. They have the same face. And I feel like there have been some moments before as well with familiar faces for characters. I'm not entirely sure. So I don't want to say it out loud in case I'm completely wrong and I end up looking like a silly fool. But I think I have recognized some faces before and that people are going under aliases, but I've, I'm not sure yet, so see anyway over here what is this a golden snuff box filled with opium powder oh I okay all right okay right who we got here and thus the griffin reborn revealed himself to his brothers by demonstrating a true miracle what is this? A silver crown with gems. Aha! The Griffin Reborn. So I'm guessing this is like, show a miracle, become, get the rank of Griffin Reborn. Just be like, yes, I am the, the almighty member of this cult. Over here. Kneel before Griffin Reborn and make ready. I will lead you, brothers, to great many changes. There, miracle preparation. After the... the other input, aim at the sky, press the lever to maximum position and hold for at least 10 seconds. At this point, the idol should be full enough to perform the miracle once. Miracle hypothesis? The water works better, but the effect is not as 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 convincing. Uh, therefore, air. Yeah, this this was the air one. This was air. 
So instead of walking on water, it's walking on air. Main challenge is ensuring my balance when holding on to the idol. Practice is paramount. Safety notice. Upon pulling the trigger... Yeah, this is the, the glyph here. The red means it's ready for that input. The blue means it's ready for that input. Yep. Yeah. The alternating. Can we see what... Which way around the idol is at the moment? It's blue. It's blue. So yeah, that, that input won't work because the... It's blue, it's not been prepared. So yeah, if, if he just tried to do that miracle and the idol was not ready, he just... Yeah, that... That was silly. That was silly. You can't perform miracles unless you're the, the Griffin Reborn. Why would you try? Right, um... So this is... This has got to be... Yeah, this is the Lazarus from before, Lazarus Hurst. This is Edmund. I think he's got to be Edmund. I think Edmund, like when it said that Edmund was dead, I was like, I don't, I don't believe that for one second. Not after hearing all this stuff about how he was experimenting with life and he needed like a body for transferring life. I think this is Edmund. The fact that he has all the notes, I'm, I'm pretty convinced this is Edmund. So then it's like, he's like, smuggled his way into the cult? I, I don't know what the, the goal here is. What is the end goal? He's like... I will lead you brothers to great many changes. He's Is he just like infiltrating the cult? Right, and over here. That was an actual miracle. Unbelievable. So there is a Griffin reborn. What have you got? You got a stamp. You got a seal for number seven. Okay, we got a bunch of masks over here. So we know that these five... Yeah, we've got two of every... Every faction, because over here we have the other water beast mask. So there's two of each. Do I even remember what they were in the last chapter? I do not. A set of heavy wooden oars we have here. Ooh. What do we got here? Rules and history? We've got rules. Griffin Rebirth. The one who claims to be Griffin Reborn must perform a miracle. If someone repeats the miracle, it is proven that it was not a miracle but mere magic, and the claimant is punished with death. If no one can repeat the miracle, the masks fall. Claimant is crowned as Griffin Reborn. So that's what happened. Because of the idol and the way it works, they wouldn't be able to repeat the miracle without knowing how the, the idol works. That's very clever. And very sneaky. Ooh! Chronicles of Griffin Rebirth. In 1725, the first Dark Hand, Lord Harrington, demonstrated flying, jumped off a cliff to his death. Uh, he tried. <laughs> In 1756, Proud Beast Master Lord Pledsley performed a seance talking to the spirits. Lord Angus McBain repeated the miracle, proving him unworthy. So, Angus McBain. Angus McBain has a history of doing this, of proving people wrong when they try to claim to be the Griffin Rebirth. The Griffin Reborn. Haha. <laughs> In 1764, Dark Hand Master Lord Jones demonstrated the creation of a homunculus. Lord Angus McBain produced a homunculus as well. In 1771, Proud Beast Master Lord White carried out the hypnosis of a servant. Uh, Lord Angus McBain hypnotized the same man as well. Yeah, so Lord Angus McBain has a, a habit of doing this. So we can guess that this is Lord Angus McBain. I'm pretty sure because I, there was something over here. Yeah, Lord Angus McBain is one of the ones present here. I'm guessing this is Maker then. Nicholas Maker. And then here we, we got a letter from Proud Beast Master. 
and yeah, he, he really wants a seat alongside the court of directors at the Seven Seas Company. Huh. Well, this is interesting. This is very interesting. So yeah, I'm I'm I think I think it's gotta be I think this has gotta be Edmund, and then this is this is Walter Keen, but I think he's now like on our side. I'm I'm saying our side like I am part of this noble family. <laughs> this seemed like a terrible family either way, but I think I think Walter's on our side now. After the shenanigans that happened in the hut, I think he's like joining us. I think he's he's like not like an opposing force anymore. We got footprints over here. That's how many footprints? Okay, there's one pair going that way. There's two going this way, but only one going out that way. Hmm. What are your shoes? Ooh, that's your shoes. Okay, can I see your shoes? No, his legs are broken though. Your shoes, eh? Okay, yeah, that's that's you. You walked up that way and back again. Oh, of course. Of course, because he went to go grab the, the staff. That makes sense. So I'm guessing he jumped off the lighthouse, performed the miracle to land safely, and walked back this way. And then he was like, well, you're, you're a scam artist. The Griffin Reborn isn't you. I'm going to repeat the miracle. Give me that staff. Tried the same thing, but he just fell to his death. And so he then walked over and back to, to bring the idol back. <laughs> okay, that that's what the footprints mean. Yeah, because th those are those are his his footprints. He's got the little the little things on him. Nice. Okay. Let's have a look over here. The door is locked from the inside. Ooh, I can go up though. By guarding the lighthouse, you guard the empire. General Alistair Clark. General. And then here's the top of the lighthouse. A trapdoor that connects the staircase to the top of the lighthouse, not locked. It's very high up. I like that the music stops when I'm this high up. Just to emphasize, like, this is a way. Nice. Okay. Right, I've got 31 out of 31, so it's time to, to start putting the pieces together. Here we go, here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Angus, we know Angus McBain is behind a lot of this. Angus McBain blackmailed... Oh, wait, hold on. Bum, bum, bum. Well, perform the miracle of flying. We know that much. Right, people who had the magical relic in their hands chronologically. Well, we know that that is... First, it was Lazarus Worst, as he was... Lazarus Hurst, as he was doing his miracle. Then... I'm pretty sure it's Angus McBain. He's he seems to have a vendetta for anyone trying to prove that they can do miracles. And then we know that Walter Keane brought it back. Yeah, look at that! Look at that! I, I pieced that together from the footprints. <laughs> we got it. Also, Vicky Amaru, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome in! I'm solving mysteries! I'm solving a, a miracle murder mystery with a cult and a magical idol and um, magic and a lot of interesting stuff. Wait, oh wait, that's the wrong back seating rule. That's, uh, I forgot to change that from my... <laughs> Ignore that. I forgot to change that from when I was playing Infinite Craft. That is not the right message. That is not the right message at all. This is the right message. <laughs> there we go. I also, I, I forgot. I fully forgot to change that. I like how I changed all of the April Fool sounds back, but I forgot the back C2 message. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Let me, let me delete that. What are you doing, Lirribot? Spreading misinformation. 
Also, Gigi, hello. Welcome, welcome. I am a magical idol. Thank you. Thank you. I, I wish I was. I wish I was an idol. One day, maybe. <laughs> but welcome. Welcome on in. I'm, I'm solving mysteries. I've got all the information. I just need to piece it all together now. Right, so I guess we should start with the names. <laughs> yeah. It really does sound like a creature. It fully sounds like a creature as opposed to like a human being. It's a pretty great sound. But uh, thank you for the hydrate too. Wait, I didn't open my monster yet. <laughs> We're half an hour into the stream and I didn't open my monster yet. What is happening? What is happening to me? Let me, let me fix that right now. There we go. Uh, I actually treated myself to a, a four pack of the, the Ultra Rosa the other day because uh, as much as I love the Fiesta, it does get a bit much when it's the only flavor I'm having. <laughs> I like having all of the flavors because then I can like mix and match. Like whatever I'm in the mood for, I'll be like, oh, I'll have one of those today. I'm like, I do have a couple cans of the white monster left as well, the Ultra Zero. But I just, I wasn't really feeling like that today. I was, I was feeling like today's a pink day. And there we go, I monstered up. The brain cells are replenished. See, that's, that's why I didn't change the backseating message. I forgot to because I hadn't had my monster today. But yeah, usually on Sundays, I have had like a little bit of monster earlier in the day before the stream like I always crack open a new can anyway because it's fun but uh, I sometimes have leftovers from Saturday because I sometimes I don't I don't drink like an entire can every day a lot of the time but um, I didn't actually drink any monster today because um, I stayed awake all of last night and then slept all day it's, it's it's not good it's not good don't do this it's only because of insomnia I didn't want to stay awake all night but um, I'm just very thankful it was on a Sunday so that I could get some sleep in the day. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll see what my sleep's like tonight, I guess. But it, it does mean I didn't drink my monster earlier. So I can fix that now. Ah, oh, you'll be lurking while you watch competitive video games. Oh, what, what games are you watching? What's, what's the competition? I'm curious now. But thank you for the lurk! <laughs> Thank you for the luck while I figure out these mysteries. So far, all I know is this is definitely Walter Keen. This is definitely Lazarus Hurst. And yeah, the dead one is Angus McBain. We need to figure out the rest though. Yeah, we figured out this was, this is probably Maker because he's writing the notes. Nicholas Maker? So it's just these two. Let's go have a look at them. See if we've got any hints. You're the one doing like the crowning. And you you have the seven stamp. That's a seven. What could the seven mean? Right, because we're between Lord Alistair Cox and Who's the other one? Dr. James Turner. Wait, yeah, who's the doctor? Hold on. Why do you have this opium powder? Maybe are you the doctor? Are you the doctor? Hold on, let's look at this. This was written by the doctor. This was written by JT. This is James Turner. Director of the Seven Seas Trading Company. The Seven! The Seven! Seven Seas, Seven. So the Seven one is JT. So this guy, it, this is James Turner. So the other one is Alistair Koch. Okay, we got it. Oh, Valorant! Oh, competitive Valorant is always so intense. I hope you have fun with it. But yeah, um, he's not okay. This guy, um, he tried to perform a miracle, but he didn't know how to do it, and so he kind of just uh, stepped off the lighthouse. <laughs> but uh, that, that was kind of his fault. He has a, a history for doing this. 
He has a history of questioning anyone who performs a miracle to try and make them also perform the miracle. This feels very Obra Dini. It really does. It does. That's the main reason why I started playing it. Because people recommended this to me when I was talking about how I long for more deductive logic reasoning puzzle gaming. And honestly, this is... It's so good. It's really, really good. I, I highly recommend it. <laughs> I recommend it so much. It's so good. It's been, it's been so clever so far. Like, it's really good at giving you just enough information that you really have to think it through. And then, like, when you do figure it out, you just feel like a genius. Wait, Outer Wilds is totally logical and deductive. It is as well, though! That's also why I played Outer Wilds. Hi, Far Too Clueless. Nice to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Maybe I'll have to tune out completely. Oh, if, if you think you might enjoy playing this, then yeah, I highly recommend uh, muting me. <laughs> Just mute me, it's, it's fine. <laughs> but it's, it's really good. I, I think you'd like it. I think you'd like it. I, I know like your affinity for puzzles as well, which is pretty good. I think you'd really enjoy this. And honestly, I'd love to watch you play this too. Like I, I've had so much fun watching you play Talos. <laughs> but yeah, oh, the last two names took you a while because you thought the stamp was for the ceremony. Yeah, I did not know what the stamp was for, but it's just going back and suddenly being like, hey, seven, seven C's, that's, that's gonna be that, huh? So we got it. So you are James Turner. Which means, by process of elimination, you have to be Alistair Koch. Yeah, look at that. I'm doing it. I'm figuring out people. But yeah, honestly, Outer Wilds also did a great job of, like, finding clues, piecing them together, figuring out what's going on. But uh, I definitely do have a soft spot for, like, putting words in the gaps. <laughs> I really love this kind of deduction, like, having all the hints and clues and, like, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, but with words and hints and logic, and I love it. It's so fun. I want more games like this. Although I'm pretty sure they have announced a sequel for this game. I remember seeing it because I remember when it was announced, me being like, oh, this is a sequel to that game I've had on my wish list that I really want to play. And now that I'm actually playing it, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to play that as soon as it comes out. <laughs> so great. I haven't even finished it yet. I've still got like a handful of levels in the base game and I've got the two DLC. So I still have quite a way. Right, so let's go back. So there's the letter. Bum, 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 bum. Let me double check these. Because I'm just trying to figure out who he was um, blackmailing. Oh, here! Dear Master McVane, Master McVane has been. Oh, I bet he did it on purpose. He did it on purpose. Because we now know this is. Um... What's the name? Walter. Walter Keane. Walter Keem gave him the instructions to the miracle on purpose, knowing that it wouldn't work, to make sure that he died. That's great. That's great. That's so good. So yeah, uh, Angus McBain blackmailed Walter Keem to find out how Lazarus Hurst would perform the miracle of flying. <gasps> oh, I love this game. All right, here we go. Um, okay, so we start with Angus McBain jumped from the lighthouse using the idol. Oh no, no, first, first it's Lazarus. Uh, Lazarus Hurst jumped from the lighthouse using the idol to demonstrate the miracle of... Where's flying? Flying here. 
Miracle of Flying and become Griffin Reborn. Angus McBain jumped from the lighthouse afterwards. And that re resulted in Angus McBain's death from a... Was it a head wound? Let me let me double check him. Oh yeah, he's 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 got a head wound, all right. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a head wound. I mean, he did break all of his limbs, but that was mostly the head wound. Yeah. Eight case solved. Eight. Eight. We did it. Look at that. Wait, look at this sprite. That's great. Is that how he performed the miracle? He was just like doing this little like put put through the air that's amazing when lazarus hurst jumped from the lighthouse and survived using the hidden golden idol master angus mcbain thought he had enough information to repeat the miracle and prevent lazarus from becoming griffin reborn he seized the staff from lazarus and locked the lighthouse door to prevent foul play however he did not know all the secrets of the idol it did not work for him and angus jumped to his death yeah, he was he was fully set up for that as well. Like Walter knew what he was doing. <laughs> yeah, the no hints access does God to feel pretty rewarding. It really does. It always does. Like I'm determined. Whenever I play games like this, I'm really stubborn. I'm super stubborn. I'm very determined. I'm very persistent, and I'm also very patient. So I'm the kind of person who will happily like bash my head against a puzzle for probably too long instead of using it <laughs> i'd really love figuring it out myself because then it's just that moment of oh, i worked that out i'm a genius it's so fun i love it we did it right on to number nine we've got the interrupted weekend at the doctor's salon okay but i want to check something as well very quickly No, I'm gonna leave it. Let's let's go on to nine. Let's go on to nine. Let's see what what happened here. The interrupted weekend at the doctor's salon. There's a lot of oh hi. The man is not breathing and has a huge vertical wound on his forehead. Oh, he has been stabbed. Or speared. <laughs> huh. Here we go. Thirteen months of Liri. Ratsuk one love. Rat, hello! Thank you for the resub! And J. June, hello! Wait, just a few more streams. Oh no! Oh no, do you really have that many points? Oh my. Oh, that's gonna be. That's gonna be fun. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Hi, J. June, I hope you're doing well! I hope you've had a good weekend. Welcome, welcome! And Rat, thank you so much for the 13 months! 13 months of Leary and many more to go. Oh, wait, you know what? I was gonna say, like, I, I put it, like, impossibly high on purpose. Although, a little part of me is very tempted to make it, like, a a joint goal. Like, the kind of thing you can put points into. And I'll just keep adding time to that goal until it happens. So, it will happen one day. But, like, a joint everyone get to a million might actually happen. Like, sometime this year. <laughs> But still, 70k is still so many. That's so many points. Thank you so much. And Ryan, hello! What's happening here? I have no idea. I just stepped into the scene. But welcome! Um, I don't think it's anything good, that's for sure. <laughs> but welcome in! Welcome to um, Murder Mystery with emphasis on the mystery. A lot of mystery. And magic and cults. And rich people in the 1700s it's a good game but welcome <laughs> don't tempt us it'd get filled in a week no see the thing with the the joint redeems is that you can only donate 2000 per stream like per person you can't just put all of your points into it so it would have it would be like forced to be a, a later on goal <laughs> otherwise i wouldn't even be entertaining the thought because i i feel like there's a lot of people with a lot of points even with all the sound alerts I put in to try and make people use all their points up. <laughs> oh my goodness, hello, hello. 
Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome in. Cute demon raid. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome. Um, don't mind um the mess. I'm sure everything is fine. Don't uh, don't worry about whatever's going on over here. It's fine. It's <laughs> nothing to worry about. Hello. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? I hope the art went well. I hope you had a good stream. Welcome on in. Oh, and Aurora's Fox, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Oh, British, I am indeed. I am from England. <laughs> it's pretty late here, but I, I do late night streams on a Sunday. Usually puzzle games, and this this is a puzzle game. It's a it's also a little bit dark. So please be warned. If if you are sensitive to uh the uh, murder aspect of murder mysteries. <laughs> Uh, it, it is all, like, just pixel graphics. There's nothing, like, super intense. Mind you, I say that. Someone did get, um... S someone did spontaneously combust. Which is true. Oh, is, is the content warning not working either? That one should be. That one should be working. Why is it not working? Why is... Why is my bot not working today? Hello? Hi, let me... Yeah, no arson though, no arson. There's there's no crimes here. Uh, well, if there are crimes here, it's not me doing them. I'm, I'm not doing the crimes. I'm solving the crimes. I'm, I'm figuring out what's going on. But thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. Okay, yeah, the, the command works now. But yeah, that's... That command, that's that's just... I just ripped that from the, the Steam page. That's just what the Steam page warned. But yeah, it's been an intriguing game so far, though. But yes, to anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games and, um, um, maybe not the comfy side today. But it's a puzzle! We're doing puzzles! We're figuring out what's going on here. And I've I've already had some big brain moments, so I'm I'm feeling good about myself. I'm feeling confident. I feel like I'm going to be able to figure all of this out really easily. <laughs> But ah, oh, gonna look to get food. Yes, please do. Please rest up well after your stream. Go get some nice food and drink. But thank you so much for bringing the raid on this way. And anyone who came over with the raid, if you want to stick around, I know it seems a little um maybe unfriendly at the moment. But we're we're still having a good time here. We're just relaxing. We're we're figuring out what's going on. We've got this nice little freeze frame of everything going on. So it's it's very relaxing. It's got a very relaxing pace. I realize calling a game like this relaxing I cannot doesn't think. really work. But <laughs> I cannot think. Except I kind of can today. I've got my monster energy. I've got my, my magnifying glass to look for clues. <laughs> what did I do to Thomas Edison? Hi, Nermits. It wasn't me. I did not do anything here. I'm trying to figure out what happened here. I am the- I'm the good guy. I'm- I don't commit crimes. I figure out who did them. I'm here to work out what is going on in this place, because so far there are so many levels of... cult shenanigans going on. I- I don't know what's happening. <laughs> but, ah, uh, <laughs> the timing there. That was good timing. Oh, I, I love the timing on the sound alerts. I've- there have been some... I feel like it usually happens with confetti. It's usually confetti. Like, I'll be playing a game, and there'll be something that is completely Eight. emotionally devastating, and then confetti will fly on the screen, and it'll go, yay! <laughs> it's happened so many times now. I need to make, like, a, a, a compilation video of every time there's been inappropriate confetti, because it's so funny. <laughs> I think my favorite was uh, I was playing Talus Principle 2 and one of the characters was talking about really <laughs> devastating stuff that had happened and then the confetti happened just like that. But yes, I'm absolutely innocent. Thank you for recognizing that because it's true. Anyway, we're trying to figure out what happened here. I've just stepped into the scene and this guy is dead on the floor with a huge vertical wound on his forehead. Which makes me think it was... Well, there's a lot of sharp objects around. There's a lot of stuff that could have done this. 
But the fact that it's long makes me suspicious. <laughs> Anyway, we've got a note here that says, listen, apologies for the shouting match yesterday. Let's continue our discussion at noon. Leo. Hmm. And then we have a letter here that says, dear friend, the elections are over, so let's uphold tradition and have a leisurely weekend at my place with you and Leopold to discuss the prime minister situation. Please join us on May 12th. Kindly confirm your presence, Dr. James Turner. Yep. Good old doctor. Yeah, the, the dude in the corner here. Like, look at that. That's, that's a really cool spear. I love it. It's like the fact that it's a long wound. Oh, wait, no, there's... There's a boomerang with blood on it, I think. <laughs> I think we might have found the murder weapon. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Considering the blood, maybe. <laughs> Right, well, you've also got a clean small sword. Right, so... Dr. James Turner wrote this letter to him. And Leo also wrote a note to him about a shouting match. So these three are related somehow. We just need to find out who, <laughs> who they are. Right, over here. Oh, God, believe me, my lord, I do not feel comfortable arresting a prime ministerial candidate, but I must ask you to follow me. So we've got Constable no Arthur Faulkner. So we know who this fellow is because there is literally identification here. And then over here, we've got a clean constable's pike. And this, this book has a lot of notes. <gasps> Testimonies! Ooh! A lot of testimonies with a lot of names. Okay, Leopold claims that one, had a glass of sherry with James in the library and became drowsy. Two, as he was falling asleep, saw the Lemurian observing him through the glass door. Three, woke up, found the butler on the floor asleep. Four, woke up the butler. Five, entered the salon and found the body. Six, upon investigating the weapon, deduced that the Lemurian was the murderer. And Seven instructed the butler to raise the alarm. That seems very straightforward. Seems like a very straightforward testimony. Let's see if there's anything that contradicts that in the rest of this. Alright, maybe I should actually look at the people before I start looking at this. I'm gonna see what the people have first, see if we can figure out who's who before we start rooting through the, the testimonies. Here we go. Hmm. I hope the host did not notice me when he was leaning over the sleeping eye patch, gentlemen. Who are you? Right, there's a clean Lemurian Lemurian war club. So I'm guessing this is a Lemurian boomerang, which is why they are probably all immediately being racist. <laughs> hey, why am I seeing who killed before the alarm is raised? No, no, this is after the alarm is raised. This this guy is dead. All of this has happened. He's just gotten everyone's testimonies and has clearly made a decision from that. So I've got to figure out everything else. But no, the alarm's already been raised. This is All of this has already happened. I'm piecing together the information now. I'm not here. I'm not like an active person in this room. I am observing the scene to figure out what happened. <laughs> It's the way the game works, like, I'm, I'm not, like, a person standing in this room. The way that the game works is, like, it gives you a freeze frame of the situation that's happened. And you look through everything, figure out what's going on, see what's happening here. But uh, uh, also, as well, I would like to uh, point out the pinned message as well, that um, this is a, a no backseating stream. So it's like, it's fun to talk along with things that are happening, but when it gets to like the deductive reasoning and stuff, like if you mention something that I haven't figured out, that would then take away that moment of discovery from me. If you know what I mean? Like if you say, well, why did that guy say that? I'll be like, ah, you're right. And now I, I don't have that discovery. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's the reason why I have the no backseating tag. It's just so that I can I get the, uh, the, the moments of discovery for myself. Cause that's what I love the most about these games. Like 
the reason why I love them so much is that like that one moment when you you're looking at everything and it all comes together and it's like oh, that's what happened like it's so fun but yeah I'm, I'm gonna go through all of the people first but yeah I love how the testimony there was just like well that's a Lemurian boomerang so clearly the Lemurian person must have been the one to use it never mind the fact he has his own weapon and I'm pretty sure it was not him <laughs> Yeah, let's let. No, let's let. No, that that does make sense. Let's let me figure it out. It's it does grammatically make sense. That sentence, like it feels weird to say, but it's it's like a, a buffalo buffalo situation. If you know the the sentence that's just like buffalo buffalo that technically grammatically makes sense. Yeah, let's let does does grammatically work. <laughs> But also, either way, I'm I'm very much of the opinion that, like, if I understand what you mean, it doesn't matter if it's perfectly grammatically correct. Like, I'm... Huh? If I understand you, that's enough. That's enough. It's like, it helps if you... If you, like, expand out let's to let us, because it's like the abbreviation of let us. Let us. Let me figure it out. It makes a little more sense that way. It's still, it's still, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. Anyway, let's see what this guy has. The the lovely Lemurian. Oh, the Lemurian prince. He's a prince. So they're accusing a prince of this? Or, or Leopold was at least. <laughs> help us help you help us all. Yeah, that's another one where it's like, it it's so confusing to figure out how to pass it. It's like, help us help you help us all. It's Even though it does technically make sense, there are ways to word it that are less confusing. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, a, we want to help you because then you can help us all. Like, that, that makes sense and you immediately understand it. And it has the same meaning, but yeah, it's, <laughs> I love it. I'm, I, th I feel like English is one of those things where English just doesn't make sense a lot of the time. <laughs> it makes sense and it doesn't. So I'm gonna continue reading this note. Dear Prince, as you know, I am a great aficionado of Lemurian culture. It would be my pleasure to invite oh, a member of the Ptu can, clan to spend a leisurely weekend at my estate with some of our own political dignici dignitaries? Dignitaries? Dig dignitaries? How do I pronounce that? Hold on. Let me get my dictionary out. It's another word that I've read but never said out loud before. There's my dictionary. Digni dignitary. Dignitary, okay. It's dignitaries. Okay, now I know. <laughs> Educational. Kindly confirm your presence, Dr. James Turner. Right, so we know we have a Lemurian prince here, and we also know that Dr. James Turner is an aficionado of Lemurian culture and would possibly have a boomerang. Dear Prince, I heard that you got invited to a party by the director of Seven Seas Company himself. I know you hate associating with these invaders and thieves, but this might just might be just the opportunity that we seek to reclaim our honor. Ooh. Reclaim our honor. That seems a little mm. interesting. A spicy smelling ornamental box. And a brown stone slate seal. I had to say that slowly. I knew if I tried to say that fast, I would not say it. <laughs> but we have a brown stone slate seal. Interesting. Okay. Right, now, uh, what? That's a, what a wig. That's a great wig. I love that. He stole his life just like that. 
The doctor is a smart man, since he saw through his lies. What lies? Stole his life. That's interesting wording. Stole his life. Uh, <laughs> imagine if it was silver. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, how's your next week gonna go? Yuri Alchemist, that's, that's a good omen. You've got a really good horoscope for the next week. <laughs> Right, here we go. We've got, dear friend, at one of the balls, you said that you would love to meet someone actually interesting. I'm having a weekend of drinks at my manor, and a prince from the 11th clan of Lemuria will be joining us. Please do us the honor of your company too. Kindly confirm your presence, Dr. James Turner. So yeah, James Turner is the one inviting everybody here. Interesting selection of people to invite. Oh, there's your horoscope! <laughs> Experience things you can't do in real life, like owning a house. I feel like that's a positive horoscope as well. <laughs> I don't know, at least we haven't gotten any of the, the arson ones yet. Right, let's have a look at you. This is outrageous! I thought you were an honorable man, Leopold, not some Aquitanian agent trying to sabotage our friendly relations with Lemuria and provoke a conflict. Ah. Ah. So they're all thinking Leopold did this. The question is going to be, did he? Also, yeah, this guy was from the... He's part of the Brotherhood. Brotherhood? It was the Brotherhood, right? I think it was the Brotherhood. <laughs> yeah, he's part of the Brotherhood, so... There are more forces at play here. And over here we have... James, this is preposterous! You know damn well that he was killed by that Lemurian savage! Oh, we got the word killed from that too. Nice. Yeah, they're all members of the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I really miss the multiplayer in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I was so sad when they shut down the servers for that. It was like the whole, like, be an NPC and blend into the crowd kind of thing. That was fun. I'm really bad at any kind of Assassin's Creed game, but I had a lot of fun playing the multiplayer in that. I, I miss that. Good times. Right, let's see what your invitation said. Dear friend, now that the elections are over, please join me for a leisurely weekend at my manor with good old Augustus and some other fine fellows. We will have some drinks and discuss what to do about that prime minister position. Kindly confirm your presence, Dr. James Turner. So yeah, everyone's gotten the invitations. Right, I'm trying to remember, who was Dr. James Turner? Which one was the doctor? I, I need to make notes from the previous levels. <laughs> I'd forgotten who this guy was. It's like, was this the doctor? Oh, was this the doctor? No, this was the guy from the Seven Seas Company, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I remember the little, like, evil villain mustache. Yeah, this was the Seven Seas. Guy, so I think this is the doctor. And I think the fact as well that he doesn't have an invitation. Because he wrote them all. He also looks the most fancy out of everyone here. I don't know. I've, I'm, I need to double check everything. But anyway, we've got that there. And now we have... Ha, Leopold. Your plan to frame two is sublime, but your missing button... Frame. But your missing button is more than enough proof that you did it. Constable, please escort this man out. Oh. Yeah, this is Leopold. Yeah, look, he's got a missing button. His button is gone. So now we know this is Leopold. <laughs> we know this is Leopold now, so that's a good start. And the Osakan, hello! Welcome, welcome. I see you noticed one of the new sound alerts. Welcome on in, I'm trying to figure out who done it. But a uh, happy Sunday. I hope you're doing well. Right, so what else have you got as well? You've got the, the Brotherhood ring. Clean doctor scalpel. Oh, so you're the doctor. Maybe. And a small sword. I've genuinely forgotten. I literally just did the level and I've already forgotten. 
I got so distracted by let's let's uh, make us make you make uh, help us. Uh, you know what? Ah. You know what? Monster time. There we go. <laughs> Brain cells replenished. <laughs> time for me to remember now. Oh, another hydrate! Thank you! Thank you, thank you. I've, I've got another excuse. Enjoying my Monster Energy Ultra Rosa today. Treated myself to some pink monster because I haven't had the pink in a couple of months. And I missed it. I've honestly been realizing as time's gone on that the more I drink the Rosa and Fiesta monster, the less I like just the white can, the regular monster Ultra Zero. I feel like it's third on my list now. It's like I would always prioritize the other two flavors over the white monster. And it never used to be like that. I used to really love the white can, but the more I have the, the pink and teal ones, the more I really enjoy those ones. They're, they've become my favorites. <laughs> oh, thank you for the posture check too. I'll have a big stretch. And oh, just act natural. I've heard of that game too. I've heard of it. I, I'm pretty sure I heard of it because of it playing like the Brotherhood multiplayer. Also, Noe, hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome in Raiders, how's it going? <laughs> I love that you join as I'm talking about Assassin's Creed Brotherhood multiplayer and on screen just seeing this is such a mess. However, we will clean the blood out of the rug. Um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Everything is okay. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Welcome on in, Raiders. I hope you had a good stream. I hope you had a gay stream. <laughs> but thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. To anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games, and, um, definitely not really on the comfy side with this game, but it's an incredible puzzle game. This this game has been so fun to play. It is so much fun. And also the Asakan, I'm doing really well as well, thank you. I've, I've, I'm having a blast at this. It's so, it's such an interesting game, it's so good. Ah, oh, so much hand-holding? Hand-holding? Uncensored? Woo. <laughs> but oh, I'm, I'm glad you had a good stream. I'm, I'm so glad. And thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. I know it's super late for you, so if you have to go rest or get food or a drink, please don't feel like you have to stick around. But if you want to, I'm trying to figure out who these people are. I literally figured out who two of these people were in the last level I did, and I've already forgotten. Like, I could just go back and check, but I'm, I'm just gonna, like, try and figure it out through context clues in this one instead. And, oh, do you see right that you have VIP? You might do. You might do. I made an executive decision to give you a little gem. Because of how many channel points you've spent, uh, I, out of curiosity, I went through like my uh, my like stream bot uh, channel point stats, and you you've spent the most channel points on my stream. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? You know what? I've I've got some extra badges spare. I'm d I just just kind of like snuck it in there for you. <laughs> Just, a, just a, a little sneaky treat. I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was so funny because you're always the one redeeming the the sound alerts and the the chibi mode and the head pats. And I was like, well, I, th I think you've earned it at this point. <laughs> Wait, I feel like you should have one too, Jack. Hold on. Hold on with the amount, the amount you've done too. I think. Hold on a sec. See, the good thing about, like, all the stuff that happened last month is it means that I had more people in chat, so I unlocked <laughs> the ability to give out more VIP patches. <laughs> give me a second. Hee hee hee. How far away are you from first place? Uh, you're, you're, you're second place. <laughs> 
And I think it's because of you redeeming the two VIP badges, which I then just ended up upgrading into a sword because <laughs> you've been helpful. <laughs> Even more! <laughs> oh, but, yeah, are, you, are you just throwing them all? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's, that's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. I'm... I'm, I'm gonna have to go back and double check afterwards because I had to go through like the list and add it up myself, but uh... <laughs> How many points do you have? Oh my goodness. You have... That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect this to turn into channel point wasting. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Wow. That's a lot of channel huh? points. That's a lot of points. Well, at least we don't have to worry about the, uh, the, the gaping chasm of the abyss consuming us all anymore. I think the abyss has been sated for now. <laughs> but oh my goodness, that's, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of points. Thank you for, for wasting all those points for throwing them all away. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so funny. Okay, leave some for Uwu. Oh, fabulous, yes. The wow. most important redeem. <laughs> wow. The mystery of the vanished points. Hi, Narava. Welcome. You joined at a great time. The, the points are flying at the moment. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Right, what was I even doing? I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. That's fine. That's, that's not a problem. I cannot think. I don't need to know what I'm doing. I'm going to read my dictionary instead. <laughs> Hi! Hi, Niles! Hi, Naomi! I, I kind of just want to, like, greet you by both names when I see you. <laughs> Hi! Welcome, welcome! Let us open the dictionary to E and... Hello! Thank you for the evolutionary narration, my dean. Okay, the word we got is really short, so I'm gonna do two. <laughs> the word we have is... Expressway. It is a noun... It is listed as North American, and it is an urban motorway. That's an expressway. And then the word underneath it is expropriate. <laughs> so expropriate, a verb of the state to take property from its owner for public use or benefit. The noun is expropriation, and the, another noun is expropriator. If you are someone who expropriates, you are an expropriate. <laughs> Thank you for the electionary narration, Mitty. <laughs> and welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome to, um... Nobody has channel points anymore, and, um... Stuff is happening. <laughs> Goodness. Sorry. Sorry about that. And, yeah, there are there are some new sound redeems, too. It's, um... It's some of the sounds that I... I changed some of my sound alerts on Tuesday as a a late April Fool's thing, but I really liked a couple of them, so I just added them as new normal sound things. so... <laughs> so there's like a guy snoring that sounds like he's screaming and also like a cow, which is the R ah one, and we've got Solid Snake laughing as the other one, because I replaced the alert with just like the <laughs> and I kind of just liked it, so I just kept it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there are the W's you were, you were waiting for. Sorry, I forgot to do the proper uwu. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll do better next time. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so cursed. I love it. I, I love the snake laugh. <laughs> it's so fun. All right, anyway, I hope everyone's been having a good weekend, though. Uh, and expropriate is a Magic the Gathering card that can get very silly. I like that. I know nothing about magic. The only thing I know about magic is that I avoided looking into it because I knew I would not be able to afford it. <laughs> Wait, a haiku! Thank you for the haiku redeem! A haiku on the properties of uwu. Uwu is like this. Lots of W's and cute. Very squeaky high. Thank you, that is the haiku. <laughs> Let's do another one, a more like existential one. What is uwu voice? Is it simply higher pitch? 
all the W's. Thank you, that's also another haiku. You get, you get a freebie there. <laughs> Thank you for the haiku redeem. Man, it feels like it's been a while since I did a couple of decent haikus. I love the haikus. It's a lot of fun. I, I love just like trying to think of things on the spot. And a lot of the time, like, I'll start saying something and then be like, wait, I only have two syllables left. I can't think of a word with two syllables. I have made a mistake. <laughs> but I've just got to live with that. Thank you for the hydrate. We'll have a sippy of my monster. To recover after our little uwu point redeem break. Uh, how is the do not rotten yet? Um, I am I'm in like stasis at the moment. This is a freeze frame of like this. This is like a single second in time. I'm just like frozen in stasis in time, figuring out what's going on. So, <laughs> so time is not progressing as I figure out what's going on here, which I I really like because I'm so bad at timed games. I like having as much time as I like to think about things. Honestly, that was something that I thought I wasn't going to like in Outer Wilds, but I ended up just adoring that game so much that the time limits... I was gonna say didn't stress me out. They did stress me out. They stressed me out a lot, but not in, like, a negative way. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to play the Outer Wilds DLC. Uh, I think my plan of action is probably going to be I'll play this for this week and next week. Like, next week is Xander's birthday. Next Sunday is Xander's birthday. No, I think he's I think he's playing D&D &D anyway, so it should be fine if I stream. <laughs> I'm going to stream on Xander's birthday. But then after that, I'm going to be going into the Outer Wilds DLC. I think I can do this in two more streams. Like, depending on if I get distracted again like I am now. But <laughs> but I think I can do it. Like, I've got the two DLCs, but I I know they have three chapters each? And then the, the main game is 11 and I'm already on 9. So I think I can do it. I don't know, it depends how tricky the mysteries are. But oh hey day, hello, welcome! This has been on your wish list. Oh, it's so good. This this game has been absolutely incredible. I think if you want to play it, please um don't don't look. Don't <laughs> don't spoil yourself. It is so much fun. I've been having such a blast figuring things out. It's making me feel so smart. It's so good. But yes, thank you for stopping in. But yes, I'm I love that when games like this happen, I'm just like, thank you so much for stopping in. I'm gonna do the opposite of what every streamer does to grow and tell you to stop watching. <laughs> but yeah, the demo for it is really nice. It's just the first few levels of the game. It's a really good demo. It's and I'm pretty sure I'm not entirely sure. Can you just continue from the demo? once you buy the game? I think you would be able to. I'd be surprised if you couldn't, but I, I didn't try that myself. I am a, I'm a notorious, I don't play the demos kind of person because, <laughs> because I don't, I don't like to spoil myself for games. And that includes playing a demo because it's usually just the start of the game. So I, I, I like going in completely fresh. <laughs> Like the the only demo I've I've really I really enjoy playing is like stuff like Stanley Parable where the demo was just not what was in the game. <laughs> yeah, two streams is doable but might be difficult. Three is definitely not. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I I don't want to like rush myself too much, especially if I end up having like brain empty moments. But yeah, I think the plan is just going to be I'm just going to try and finish this completely what I have and then and then it will be Outer Wilds DLC time <laughs> and I'm I should hopefully be recovered by then I need to stop I need to stop I need to play this game I need to stop thinking about Outer Wilds I will cry <laughs> Oh, I'm 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 really excited for it, but I'm it's also so funny because I was just like I'm I'm playing a game in between to give myself some buffer room to emotionally recover. Will I will I emotionally recover? I don't think I will actually, but it's it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. That's part of the experience, I think. 
Anyway, over here we've got... This is the butler, very clearly. You can tell by the... The... Ah, uh, dishcloth. The dish towel over his arm. <laughs> this is such a mess. However, we will clean the blood out of the rug. And then over here we've got... Who? What? Oh lord, I did not expect something like this in our household. Slightly grassy garden shears. Okay, so you're the gardener. You're in the garden. Interesting shears. Nice. Yeah, I, I will do eventually. Yeah, it's it's just such a good game. Yeah, and then once I finished it, I couldn't just start watching other people playing it. I've already been messaging friends of mine being, hey, have you played Outer Wilds? Have you played Outer Wilds? Do you want to? Can I watch you play? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm excited. Right, okay, we've we've talked to everybody. We know this is the Lemurian prince. This is the doctor, question mark? These two are the, the two I found before who are part of the Brotherhood. That's the gardener, that's the butler. He dead. He dead, he is friend. A friend of Dr. James Turner and also involved with Leopold as well, who seems to be the one who's being accused here. This is Leopold. And it looks like everyone's saying he did it because his button is missing. So the question is, is his button around here? Let's have a look at this. I don't see the button around. The mystery of the missing button. You've got like a very nice lapel charm. Yeah, we know you are Arthur Faulkner. We've got one name, so that's good. <laughs> How long ago was the raid? Uh, not not long enough for it to <laughs> for it to, to be late. You're never late with raids. Welcome in. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome in from the raid. If you want to stick around, hi, I'm Liri. <laughs> I'm investigating a, a murder mystery. It was Colonel Plummer with the shears in the garden, but he was killed in the library. You fool. Right. Oh, oh. Ooh. We've got information about plants which can drug you. This seems interesting, especially if that um that testimony of the butler being asleep is true. If the butler was drugged. Ooh. Uh, not sure how long you've been here, but pretty sure there was a raid. Yeah, there have been a couple of raids. You might have come in from Alosa's stream, or you may have come from Nue's stream. Or, uh, were, they, were, they, were there any other raids? I think it was those two. But yes, either way, you are welcome in here if you wanna. <laughs> you wanna stick around a bit longer. If, if you manage to just join from the raid, you've probably got a couple of channel points. <laughs> so uh, you can, you can make sounds happen. Yeah, you'll be here for a while. Oh, I'm so glad you're deciding to stick around. Thank you. <laughs> welcome on in. Welcome to, um, we're finding out about spotty onions. That looks, that looks horrifying. <laughs> spotty onion, an illusion of unity with the universe, increased appetite, hiccups, black poppy, sleepiness, whites of eyes get a pink tint. Yeah, he's been, he's been drugged. He's been drugged by black poppy seeds. Which would be opium, wouldn't it? I think. Is it opium that's in poppy seeds? I'm... I don't know my drugs, sorry. <laughs> but it... Yeah, but... We, we know what was used here with the butler then, so that means Leopold was not lying about that. Which is good to know. We also have Lemurian Litten, which is hyper-concentration of one thing, loss of perception of time, rapid eye blinking. Let's see if anyone's blinking a lot. And then we've got Redberry, which is a surge of energy, vocalization of all your thoughts, twitching and aggression. Hmm. Hmm. You're blinking a lot. You are blinking a lot. 
I think people have been drugged with every single one of these plants. Was it you? Did you do it? You're the gardener. <laughs> it's, it's that one, is that? <laughs> I, I didn't know what to call the sound because it's such a <laughs> strange sound. But uh, I did it from my, my April Fool's stream. I changed the huh to just be like, oh, instead. But then I thought it was funny, so I just kept it as a, a sound. And then as well as the snake alert, we also have the snake laugh now as well, so. <laughs> no sounds. It's so funny, I just keep adding loads and loads of sounds. I'm just gonna have like 500 different sound alerts. <laughs> Thank you for the confetti too. Oh yeah, hyper concentration on one thing. Rapid blinking. Hmm. You're not blinking, but I also think he probably has a false eye. Oh wait, have you been drugged as well? I think Leopold has also been drugged. I think they both got drugged. I don't think Leopold did this. But I also don't think the Lemurian prince did this either. So then who would do it? Ooh. Yeah, and I changed the gym button to change the Stanley. That was a little bonus. I might, I might try and see if I can figure out a way to make it like a random chance. Like when you do the sound alert, there's like a 1% a chance that you might get a Stanley instead of a gym. I think it could be fun if I could figure out how to do that, but I would I would definitely have to look up how to do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and you're welcome for the VIP. I figured you, you've been here long enough. You've earned it at this point. <laughs> but yes, enjoy the shiny badge and the shiny badge. I'll have to update the Discord roles afterwards. I, I'll, I would have forgotten otherwise. Um, Anyway, back to game. <laughs> oh, the seals of the 12 Lemurian clans. Well, wasn't this the 11th? Oh, the boomerang's missing. Look, there's all the, the stuff on the wall here. It was just taken off the wall. Okay, what was your, your stamp? Here. The brown stone slate seal. Uh, one of the letters mentioned... I don't remember which letter it was. Uh, the 11th clan of Lemuria. You are from the 11th clan, so... 11? Oh, well, I guess maybe it was taken off the shelf? Why would it be taken off the shelf? Also, yeah, I just don't know what the symbols mean, so that... I should probably try figure that out. I think it might be like one, two, three. Oh, it's like the sides. <gasps> it's the sides. So a dot is one. The line has got two points, so that's two. This has three points, so that's three. Four points, five points. One, two, three, four, five, six points. It's the points. One, two, three, four, five. I can't even see what's going on there, but one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that would be the eleventh symbol. But yeah, it's related to the points. Like the triangle means three, the square means four, the dot means one, the line means two, and the hourglass means six. Oh, so then the the hourglass of six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, but then that would that would make ten. So is there a dot there as well? We just can't see it because it's so small. <laughs> Who knows? Right, let me look at this. Alright, so that would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, that would be 11. That's 11. We got the 4 for the square. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So what the... Let's, oh. Interesting. Interesting. I'm still only on 13 out of 36. Oh, I could probably go outside here. Yay, shiny pinkness! Wear it with pride! Yes! The the Liri sign. Make everything pink. <laughs> okay, so there's a full glass of sherry there and an almost empty glass of sherry. Who's been drinking sherry that may have been drugged? Yeah, I can go outside. And go that way too. Okay, we got the layout. We got the library. We've got the salon. We've got the flower beds, the fountain, the croquet field. They're going to play croquet. 
We've got the tea house and the chess house. We've got a lot to investigate here, and I have been getting so sidetracked. <laughs> Let's get back on the investigating. I think I want to start by going outside. Because it's very clear that some of these people have been affected by black poppies and possibly red berries. I think this is a red berry situation. That's all. Oh. I can choose where I want to go. Croquet field. An unfinished croquet match on a grass field. Chrysanthemum bushes. Rose bushes. There's stuff down there. Okay, there's, there's like three significant places to look. I think we're going to start with the fountain. Because, lo oh, look at that though. That's such a cool fountain. <laughs> what does this say? We've got the copy of the London Gazetteer. Who will be the new prime minister? <gasps> oh, that's really close. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, uh, the election results are that the New Order Party has 36, the Moderates have 32, and the Loyalists have 29. So, <laughs> this looks so silly, I love it. Right, so the New Order Party is represented by this um, chicken bird. Uh, the Loyalists have uh, this, it's like a, a griffin, and then like a pegasus? Loyalists and the Moderates. That is a chair that is running away. That is quite a... That image does invoke a lot. That's, that's pretty... It's <laughs> a pretty great illustration. Right, the New Order Party have the most MPs, but it is clear the two old parties will form a coalition. Ah, I see. It's one of those. This means either Loyalist leader Blanchard or Moderate leader Valentine will become the Prime Minister, leaving Lazarus Hurst and his... <gasps> ah. ah! I see. He formed a new political party after taking over a cult. He wants to become the, the Prime Minister. I see. So that's why the, the moderate leader, Valentine, I guess this guy who died is Valentine. So that's why all of these have been invited over. It's, it's all the people from the moderates and the loyalists being like, okay, come to my party. We're going to figure out how to take down the new order party. <laughs> Just like, get these newcomers out of here. How dare they? Oh, okay. Right, let's go look at the chess. Have a little mouse over. What's going on here then? I... That's a chess match? Um... I don't, I don't know enough about chess. Like, I, I know the basic rules on how to play chess, but I don't know how to play chess, if you know what I mean. Like, I can look at this and be like, hmm, I wonder if there's a way to determine who's about to win this match by looking at that. If there is, I would not know it. But uh, very interesting that there's like a, a partially played match out here. Right, over here, this is the tea room. Ooh, two cups of spicy smelling tea. One almost empty, the other untouched. Spicy smelling. Spicy tea. Could that be... Redberry? Is redberry spicy? It looks like it would be spicy. Alright, is there anything else around here? No, just like... Two cups of spicy tea. Oh wait, I didn't realize like, oh, I can zoom like this? I've been playing this whole game, I did not realize I could use my scroll wheel to zoom! Oh, this is so funny. I didn't realize I could scroll to zoom in. Why did I not think to try that? Why did I not, like, just think to try that at any point in the game? I can't believe myself. I cannot believe myself right now. This is so funny. Ah, right, let's go back inside. <laughs> I'm so smart and clever. Right, let's go further into the house. Let's see what's going on. 
Oh no, that just leads out. Oh, door. Oh no, that's the way back in. Okay. Hmm. Right, I'm still missing quite a lot here. So I'm wondering what I could be missing. Like, I wonder if I can get into the salon area. I don't know if I can. so quiet now yeah we've got the tea out there so I I have a feeling that that might be red berry tea then who was playing chess I might be missing something around here I mean I'm definitely missing something somewhere I wonder if we can find the the missing button because we know that Leopold's button was removed like it fell off at some point but there's also it looks like he may have been drugged with black poppy as well because the the whites of his eyes have turned pink so or his eye i should say <laughs> the one eye but yeah i don't know where that button is this is so interesting i feel like there is so much that i'm missing i don't know how to find it But uh, we do have some good information at least. I think I'm going to do the opposite of what I usually do for this. I usually try and find all of the, the word clues before I go into thinking, but I, I think I'm gonna start thinking now. D finally start thinking. <laughs> also, Mel, hello, lovely to see you. This game is great, it's so good. It is so clever. I'm having so much fun with it. Oh, here we go. Oh, I forgot to, <gasps> that's, that's, okay. Never mind, I know what I missed. I forgot to go back and actually read the testimonies. I started and then I was like, I should check everything else out before I read the testimonies. So we're going back to this now. Now that we've had a look at everybody. Yeah, here we go. Uh, he he had a glass of a sherry with James in the library and became drowsy. And drowsy and we know he went drowsy because he was drugged. As he was falling asleep, he saw the Lemurian observing him through the glass door. Woke up, found the butler on the floor asleep. Woke up the butler, entered the salon and found the body. Upon inspecting the weapon, deduced that the Lemurian was the murderer, and then instructed the butler to raise the alarm. It makes sense. Ah, uh, your wallet's claimed for the near future. Oh, because of Dawn Trail! Yes. Yeah, I, I, need, to, I need to finish Endwalker. I... I recently resubbed to Final Fantasy XIV again, and I'm I'm a like level 85 in Endwalker at the moment, so I'm I'm making progress. But I've got to finish Endwalker and all of like the post-game patches before Dawn Trail comes out. So I've got a challenge ahead of me. <laughs> but I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. It looks like it's going to be great. But yeah, if if this seems interesting to you, you should absolutely wishlist it because it's it's really good. It's so good. Uh, you're all 90s except for Fish. Oh, I love Fisher. I love playing Fisher. Uh, I have one class at level 90 at the moment, which is Carpenter. And then my next highest class is Fisher. <laughs> but I've also been going through main story, leveling up two classes at the same time because of how much experience it gives. So if I hadn't been doing that, I would have a battle class at 90 already. But instead, I'm, I'm taking advantage of the XP by, by doing two classes. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I know a lot of people are looking forward to it. And I, I am too. I'm excited. Right, let's have a look at Gideon's testimony. Gideon claims that played croquet, croquet with Ergen in the morning. They got bored and went to drink tea in the tea house. Ergen drew his attention to the interesting design of the chess house, saw Lord Alistair Koch lecture the butler, we got another name to pick up there, saw Master Turner come to the chess house and send the butler away, just as Ergen was remarking on the beauty of the chess house, then saw Lord Alistair leave the chess house and return shortly afterwards. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, pretty, sh I'm pretty convinced now that Ergen, Ergen is the, the one with the fancy blue wig and was also 
drugged up with red berries because there it's was it red berries no the rapid blinking it's the lemurian L lichen hyper concentration on one thing he was hyper concentrating on the beauty of the chess house like there he's just like look at the chess house won't stop talking about the chess house going to the chess house check out the beauty of the chess house yeah he's his his tea was uh, <laughs> was spiked i think uh you just like not being able to gather specific things when you need specific things oh i do understand that i do understand that a lot but uh i'm i'm the kind of person where i'm like if i need a specific thing i'll just spend loads of money and buy it off the marketplace <laughs> And then when I'm when I just want to like relax, I just do a load of fishing, and then I sell my fish to those people who buy it at inflated prices on the marketplace. So it like evens out in the end. Right. So that is Gideon's testimony. So Gideon and Ergin were playing croquet. They went to drink tea, but Gideon didn't drink the tea. Ergin did and started hyperfixating on the beauty of the chess house. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Here we've got Ergin's... <laughs> Ergin's testimony. Uh, slightly difficult to understand what he says, potentially because he has challenges with our language. Claims that everything young Master Bell says is absolutely correct. Well, that's straightforward enough. Let's see what James's testimony is. James claims that he drank a glass of sour sherry with Blanchard in the library in the morning. Then he went to the chess house where he found Lord Alistair and the butler, ordered the butler to clean up the library and get rid of the bad sherry. The bad sherry. Oh yeah, because it was sour. Because it had been dosed up, maybe. And then spent the rest of the time playing chess with Alistair until the alarm was raised. Uh, with a note, as the master of the house, he led the interrogation of the suspects. Good note to have. All right, Alistair's testimony. Well, with that, we know that this is James Turner's house. James Turner is the master of the house here. Right, he claimed, Alistair claims that in the morning he practiced chess at the chess house and educated the butler on his lack of military training. Oh, like the, the military aspects of chess. Yes, the knights and stuff. Uh, sometime in the afternoon, Dr. Turner arrived and sent the butler away. They played together and he was very close to winning when the alarm was raised. I'm sure he was. Right, and then we've got uh, Podrick's testimony. Uh, Podrick claims uh, served Lord Alistair in the chess house in the morning. His master arrived and instructed him to dispose of the spoilt sherry that he and Lord Leopold had drunk, and then go to assist Mr. Spade in the garden. I love that the gardener's called Mr. Spade. That's, that's gonna make that a lot easier to remember. <laughs> On entering the library to take away the glasses, found Lord Leopold asleep, suddenly was overcome with dizziness and fainted due to his weak heart. <laughs> Oh, I I think the butler may be telling Porky's here. I think the butler may have seen, may have been told to take away this bad sherry and maybe thought, oh, well, what if I just have a little sip myself? <laughs> what if he just has a little bit? Uh, was woken by Lord Leopold and instructed to raise the alarm, then saw the deceased lying in the salon. Yeah, that adds up. And then Billiam. Billiam claims that, uh, planted and pruned all morning by the chrysanthemum bush, saw the young gentleman and the foreigner leave the croquet and go behind the manor. Okay, so I, I guess Ergin is the Lemurian then. Uh, in the afternoon, moved to the rose bush. From there, saw Lord Augustus leave the fountain at around noon. Continued his work on the roses until the alarm was raised by Mr. Hill. All right, we're getting the names now. There's only one one word missing now so we have mostly everything right so the host leaning over the sleeping eye patch gentleman ah mm. okay that's interesting so 
James Turner was leaning over Leopold at one point while he was asleep. And he was outside looking in. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Let's start thinking. <laughs> Here we go. Right, location of each suspect when the body was found. Right, let's let's start with the names. Let's start. We know the host is James Turner. I'm pretty sure this is James Turner. Right, well, we know this is Leopold. We know that the eye patch one is Leopold. We know that the gardener is Spade. What was the first name again? Uh, uh, Billiam. Billiam Spade. Do I have the word? Yeah, I do have Billiam. Okay. So we know the gardener is Billiam, S Billiam Spade. <laughs> what, a, what a great name. <laughs> also, thank you for the posture check and hydrate and the head pat. I will have a big stretch. As big a stretch as a tiny bean can do. And a sip of my monster. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Welcome. I've, I've got most of the pieces. I'm trying to figure out what is going on here now. So we know you're the gardener. We know you're the butler. Eight. Yeah, we know the butler's name as well, because the butler is Podrick. Eight. Yeah, the butler is Podrick. Podrick something. And I'm pretty sure there is something there too. Thank you for the eights. Podrick, I'm very sure there was something that mentioned the butler's surname. I just don't remember where it was. One of these? Blum, 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 blum. That's Leopold. Saw, saw Lord Alistair Cock lecture the butler. Saw Master Turner come to the chess house. There's a lot. Oh, Ergen. I'm guessing this is Ergen then. Because then Ergen's uh, testimony as well was just that everything young Master Bell says is absolutely correct. So is this Master Bell then? Which one is young Master Bell? Gideon? Is it Gideon Bell? Because they, they spent all of their time together. Ergin and... Yeah, Ergin and Gideon were together the whole time. So is it Gideon Bell? Gideon Bell and Ergin... I, I, would Patu be the surname? I know that's the clan name. I guess it probably would be. But then... I'm still not sure if that is him. It could be someone else. I was mostly thinking because of the rapid blinking of like if the tea here yeah one's almost empty the other's untouched so i'm thinking he could have slipped a bit of this in there which is why he's blinking so much and then his testimony his testimony, like, keeps talking about the chess house. <laughs> so I think he's Gideon Bell. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna sneak that in there. I think that's right. Oh, we know straight away as well that this is Arthur Faulkner. He literally had his ID on him. So we know that much. And then... Oh, wait! The, the, uh, the paper outside! We got the names of... Here, the moderates and the loyalists. So, oh, I guess... I guess Leopold is the leader of the Loyalists. And then this guy's the leader of the Moderates. So it's Leopold Blanchard and something Valentine, I think. So Leopold Blanchard. Something Valentine. I think that should be right. We will soon find out. Right, so can we figure out from here? Yeah, I had a glass of sherry with James in the library. 
as he was falling asleep, saw the Lemurian observing him through the glass door. So yeah, that's James Turner. So he had a glass of sherry with James Turner. He went drowsy. James Turner probably took the button off while he was asleep then. He's being framed by James Turner. But he thinks it's the L Lemurian Savage because things worked out badly. Oh, this is interesting. So it's like, are you James Turner? Was he James Turner? You know what? I'm going to be a little bit... I'm going to cheese it just a little bit. I'm pretty sure it, like, saves my progress. I'm going back here. I want to double check. Yeah, the uh, moustache guy is James Turner. He's Alistair Cock. Okay, we, we did figure that out, so I'm... <laughs> I'm taking that knowledge with me. Taking the knowledge with me. I already figured it out. I'm allowed to do this. James Turner... And Alistair Cobb. So then we've got Podrick the butler over here. And so that's going to be Podrick Hill. And I guess this is, yeah, this is going to be Augustus Valentine, because the other message mentioned come along with Augustus and I in a very, like, presidential way. It was like, let us talk about the prime minister thing with you and Augustus. Yes, there we go. We got them named. <laughs> It only took me uh, far longer than it should have because I kept getting distracted, but it's fine. We're not here to speedrun this, we're here to figure it out. Right, so Augustus Valentine is the victim. The boomerang is the murder weapon. The library is where he was murdered. And the body was found by Leopold Blanchard. No? Wait, was he murdered in the salon? Yeah, he was murdered in the salon. Okay. I've... Yes. Oh, it, there it is! Fallen bottle of sherry. I missed that before. Fell off the table. That's gonna be... Haha. -ha. Yeah, because this is the library portion. This is the salon portion. Yeah, I was seeing it the other way around. Yeah, that's the library, that's the salon. Nice! Okay! I'm still missing a word, but I'm sure we'll figure it out when I need it. Can I look at their shoes? Oh, I wonder if I can zoom in on the eyes. No, I can't, like, take any details from the eyes. Which feels like a shame. Spicy smelling ornamental box. Yeah, I bet, I bet he, like, he made the spicy tea. He made the tea spicy. So that's... Yeah, he's... I hope he's enjoying his spicy tea with his hyper-concentration, of, loss of perception of time, and rapid blinking. <laughs> right, yeah, I, I, I looked through all of this. Yeah, because James is the master of the house. Yeah, and he's talking a lot about the missing button. But then I'm like, well, he would say that if he took the button off. Did he actually do this and is just trying to frame somebody to get away with it? Like, frame somebody into thinking that it was somebody else. Into thinking it was somebody else. Like, there's <laughs> so many levels of framing going on here. Oh, there's the button! He was holding on to it! That's... That's so planted. How does nobody see how planted that is? That is... <laughs> That's so planted. That's so funny. That's so very clearly planted. Oh, I love that. Right, because I'm just missing one word, I think I'm going to go on to the highlight view to show the highlights, just to try and find the, the one last word that I'm missing. Right, I clicked on all of that. Oh, it's, yeah, that was the name that I already got from something else. This is also going to be... <gasps> Provoke! <gasps> That's the word. There we go, I got it. A single word. I have the word provoke. <laughs> right, we have everything now. I can, I can piece this together. I can figure this out. Right, so where was everyone when this, the body was found? Uh, Leopold was 
in the salon. Uh, the butler was in the salon. Uh, Leopold, what's this? The loyalist was in the salon. The prince? Good question. Let's go back and look at the testimonies again. Yeah, right. Leopold, yeah, that was. they were both in the salon. Although I guess, no, technically the butler would have been in the library. Because they both fell asleep in the library. He went into the salon. So when the body was discovered, the butler was still in the library until he stepped through. I don't know. We, we can switch that out if it's wrong. So then Gideon was... Da, 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 da. They were drinking tea in the tea house. Did they just stay in the tea house? Were they in the tea house the whole time? Hmm. Although then I'm wondering if Ergin was in the garden as well, because he, he mentioned the whole line of like, oh, I hope, hope he didn't notice me when he was leaning over the sleeping eye patch, gentlemen. So like, if, because if he was drugged to lose time, then he could have used that moment to slip away quite easily. To slip away, look through the window, see what was going on, and then slip back and just be like, no, I've been here the whole time. I'm thinking that's most likely at the moment. I think he may not have actually... <gasps> yes! <gasps> I see exactly what happened here! Ergen drugged him with this that creates hyper-concentration. He pointed out, on purpose, how interesting the chess house is, at which point he would have started fixating on the chess house, he was just staring at the chess house this whole time, probably losing time as well because he was drugged. And then Ergen could use that time to slip out and slip back and notice what was happening in here. Right, so I think they were both in the tea house when the body was found. But he definitely slipped away at some point. Right, so then we know that the... The young man and the prince were both in the tea house. So now we go to the other ones. We go... Yeah, the gardener was just in the garden. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be that he was in the library. So I might have to change that. Uh... Okay, so Dr. Turner and Alistair were both in the chess house. So the doctor in the chess house and the general in the chess house when the body was found. And then the gardener was in the garden, in the flower beds. Yeah, I think this is going to be library. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's where they were. Right, time to time to fully fill this out. Oh, it's so hard when it's everything is so blank because you kind of have to think ahead a little bit. So, early in the morning, I think we're going to start with this. We're going to start with uh, Ergin drugged Gideon Bell in the tea house and and stole a seal that's why he sne that's why he snuck away he he stole this he stole this from the shelf he was claiming back that's that's what the notes about reclaim our honor he got his seal back for his um oh Oh, I see. He didn't do murder. He's just a thief instead. <laughs> yeah, he snuck away to steal that and then snuck back again to create an alibi. Oh, that's clever. Okay. Okay, yeah, he, he, he drugged Gideon Bell in the tea house and stole the seal. Meanwhile, in the... Oh, hold on. Maybe it's this one. Maybe this is the second one, actually. I think it might be the second one. I think this is a meanwhile in the tea house. 
Ergin Patu drugged Gideon Bell and stole a Lemur Lemurian seal from the salon. Yeah, I, d I don't think it's that one. I think it's... I think it's this to begin with. Yeah, I think this is the second paragraph. So then, I guess... Hmm. So then there... What happened at noon? One of them said noon. It was around here. Da, 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 da. One of them mentioned noon. Why did it mention noon? No, he was just fixated on the the house. That's fine. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I was so sure one of these said noon, but I'm not seeing noon now. <laughs> Where did I see noon? What am I? There. Uh, saw Lord Augustus leave the fountain at around noon. Okay, what was Lord Augustus doing at the fountain at around noon? In the fountain at around noon. No, it's not that. What was Augustus doing at the fountain? Oh, it's so... There's still so many questions. Hold on. Augustus Valentine. Of, of course he doesn't have a testimony because he's the one who is dead. But uh, who was the other... Bum, bum, bum. Leopold. Yeah, Leopold's the other... Yeah, no, he didn't meet up. He wouldn't have had a chance to meet up with him. Bum, 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 bum. Lord Alistair Koch lecturing the butler. Master Turner came and sent the butler away. Those two... Oh, Lord Alistair left the chess house but returned shortly afterwards. So did he meet with Lord Alistair at the fountain? But why? So many questions. I thought I was so close to figuring it out, but there's just more questions. Also, Ariel, hello! Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the headphone. Thank you. I'm, I'm deducing things. I, I feel like I'm still missing stuff. I think this... I think this paragraph is correct. This, this, this is all I am confident about now. I'm, I thought I had so many clues, and now I'm. But uh, I think at the end here we can go. Uh, planted the button on him to frame Leopold. That much is obvious. So then I'm pretty sure at that point, because we know it was James Turner. James Turner killed Augustus Valentine and planted the button on him to frame Leopold Blanchard. I think that is what happened here. So yeah, that would be in the salon as well then. So yeah, in the salon at around noon, James Turner killed Augustus Valentine and planted the button on him to frame Leopold Blanchard. So yeah, I guess at this point, this is going to be stole a button. So I think it would be that James Turner drugged Leopold Blanchard in the library and stole a button. No, two or fewer slots are incorrect. It's so close. It's so close. It's so close. There's two or fewer slots are incorrect, so I'm I'm almost there. <laughs> it's like crime mad lives where there are actual right and wrong answers. It is. It's so much. It's so much fun because I can think I'm going down the right path, and then I look at the words I have and the paragraph I'm given, and I realize that I'm missing things. Like now, it's like what a right. So he he drugged Leopold, stole the button and then killed Augustus and planted the button on him to frame Leopold, but... But yeah, Ergen definitely stole the Lemurian seal from the salon. 
but he didn't do any any murdering here. I'm wondering, did anyone else? Maybe someone else could have drugged him. What did the gardener say again? There, saw the young gentleman and the foreigner leave the croquet and go behind the manor. Uh, moved to the rose bush, saw Lord Augustus leave the fountain at around noon. Continued working on the roses until the alarm was raised. Hmm. Okay, I'm so close. So who drugged him in the library? It's gotta be James Turner, right? Yeah, drank a glass of sour sherry with Blanchard in the library in the morning. Except he didn't drink any of his sherry. He didn't drink his sherry, that's a bit suspicious. Only, only Leopold drank the sherry. Almost like he was trying to drug him. Then he went to the chess house, where he found Lord Alistair and the butler. Ordered the butler to clean up the library, get rid of the bad sherry. Spent the rest of the time playing chess with Alistair until the alarm was raised. Well, this clear... It's clear here, like, he's the master of the house, but he set this whole thing up. He's, he's clearly the murderer here. Like, he stole the button and then planted the button on him to frame Leopold. I feel like this is right. But yeah, it's... If, if James Turner had both of the sherries, then... If he drugged the sherry, he wouldn't drink it himself, so... I feel like that's right, but would it... Oh. It was in the library, right? Yeah, they drank sherry in the library in the morning. They drank a glass of sour... Sour sherry in the library in the morning. Yep, had a glass of sherry in the library and became drowsy. That much is true. That much is definitely true. So it's gonna be just a, a case of just me having the wrong word. It's like, cause I'm pretty sure that, yeah, he would have stolen the seal from the salon. Unless there was a way of... Hmm. Unless how else... Could he have gotten someone else to take it and stolen it from somewhere else? Where was everyone else sneaking off to? Where was everyone else sneaking off to? Uh, let's continue our discussion at noon. <laughs> that makes it seem so suspicious. Ah. That, I feel I feel like Leopold didn't write that either. I feel like that's planted on him to make people think, oh yeah, Leopold was meeting up with him at noon. He died around noon. It must have been him. It's you, you sneaky little sneak sneak. And you, and yep, you've just been gardening the whole time. Oh, what a stole his life just like that. The doctor is a smart man since he saw through his lies. No! The doctor did it! The doctor did it! Oh. Oh. What, what could I have put wrong here? Maybe someone else did the drugging. No, I think, I think this is right. He drugged Leopold in the library and stole a button. And then in the salon at around noon, he killed Augustus Valentine and planted the button on him to frame Leopold. Uh... Could it be that one? Maybe a library instead? Nope. Yeah, that's just completely wrong, so we know that's right. <laughs> That is definitely right. It's two or fewer slots are incorrect, so it's just like a single thing. Uh. I need to double check these testimonies. See who was meeting with who, where. Uh, Dr. Turner arrived 
they were they were close to winning. Alistair. Well, it makes sense that those two are working together. They're they're literally part of the same cult. They clearly made this plot together at the same time. So I think Alistair was like an accomplice here. Hold on, let's see what Alistair's thing says. Yeah, he practiced chess at the chess house. Uh, Dr. Turner arrived and sent the butler away. They just played together the whole time. Yeah, he's giving him an alibi there. Saying there, he just spent the rest of the time playing chess with Alistair. But then we know from Ergen here, he saw James Turner leaning over Leopold. So they're both lying. They're both lying here. So then, okay, what did the gardener see again? Yeah, the gardener saw Lord Augustus leave the fountain at around noon. Saw the young gentleman and the foreigner go behind the manor, yep. Yeah, he's on the wrong side of the house to have seen anything, really. Yep, took away the glasses, found Lord Leopold asleep. Hmm. He never got to assist Mr. Spade in the garden. Oh. Claims that everything Master Bell said is correct. Yeah, he would say that. Yep, saw Lord Alistair leave the chess house and return shortly afterwards. Oh. Alistair's the one who left the chess house. So James Turner drugged him and stole the button. And then while they were playing chess together, James Turner would have given the butler over to Alistair who could then go and kill Augustus and plant the button on him. There we go, there we go. That's what I was missing. That's what I was missing. It was that one, that one little bit. Like, it was clear they were working together here, but, oh, feels good. And no hints accessed. No, thank you. Brotherhood members Alistair and James plotted to turn the ruling moderate and loyalist parties against each other. Over the course of a weekend at James's manor, Alistair murdered the moderate leader and James framed the loyalist leader. Very sneaky plot, very sneaky. Incredibly clever, also terrible. Right, ooh, what have we got here? You have proven that I can trust you. Here is the Brotherhood's artifact that I removed from the traitor Keen. Let me educate you how it works. Okay. I set it to take heat from the bucket of water. Then I changed the symbols mm. and used the idol to give that heat to something else. <sighs> that was so loud. <laughs> but there is much more that the idol can do. Oh yeah, there is. Th this. Th there's no way this is not Edmund. This is. He's absolutely Edmund. But oh, the traitor Keen. How's he a traitor? What happened? I feel like stuff has happened in between these that I don't know about, and I'm, I want to know everything. <laughs> anyway, after solving that, let's move on to the next chapter. <gasps> oh. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close to the end. All right, chapter four, the new order. The triumph of order. Okay, here we go, chapter four. <gasps> oh, hi. I think I know exactly what happened there. I think this poor soul has had their life force taken out of them. <laughs> this looks like someone who's had all of the life sucked out of them. The man is not breathing. No apparent wounds. What does that say? It says, Prince of Dusk. Like night, I am dark and full of terror. I do not fear love. Do not make that error. <laughs> when you look at my name, oh, when you know my name, just look for my face. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, ho, ho. See, that's why this sound alert is perfect. I'm so glad I added it. It's so great for a moment. A game like this with so many moments of oh, ho, ho. I already start with like 12 words here. That's handy. Oh, you didn't hear the sound? Oh, I did. Hold on, did I do something wrong? Let me try it again. <laughs> there it is. 
Oh, I wonder if your stream might be delayed a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's very easy for the, the stream to, like, buffer for a second and, and you don't realise you're behind. <laughs> but there it is. Yeah, he's here. Alright, I guess it's time to look around here. Eight. I'm gonna start with people. Eight. The music, it's got the main theme, listen. Oh, listen to that. Oh. Poor bugger. I've never seen so much merit removed in the tribunal. Some mistakes are very costly. Mistakes, eh? I feel like I definitely recognize that face. I, I absolutely recognize that face. Right, we've got an Albion Frank banknote. And here. Yep, I knew I recognized it. I knew I recognized his face. We've got the lovely Mr. David Gorham who was a loyal supporter all this time. But uh, come on in, the door is open. Um, welcome to uh, this disaster. <laughs> right, Mr. David Goran, birth year 1752, occupation enforcer of the Order Party, history of infraction and obedience, had a secret compartment in his office locker, denied the existence of the secret compartment, but he's had loyal service in low-ranking position to the Order Party, which is a plus 10 merit. So because of that, he still has a plus 8 merit. So the two demerits for his secret compartment mean he still is okay. I wonder if this is a situation where whoever has the lowest merits gets their life drained. <laughs> wow. What are these as well? Remember the third virtue! What the heck is the third virtue? Is, is it, huh? What is this? That's horrifying. This is terrifying. Why? Right, what's this one? Remember the second virtue. The second virtue is don't be lazy. I'm guessing like don't be like decadent. What are the virtues? It's I, I know there are like there's like the seven deadly sins and then like the seven virtues as well. But I never forget like the exact words for them. But like this is gonna be like fancy greed wanting too much. This is gonna be sloth, lazy laziness, not putting in enough effort. Interesting. <laughs> what is this? It appears to be a donkey wearing a dress. It does, doesn't it? with a very fancy hat with a flower on it and a fan and a handkerchief and three hips <laughs> yeah pride pride is the the sin but no I, I think it would be more like a... oh what is it is, is it just greed I think it might be greed yeah th like this would be greed and then the opposite of greed. It's like, you don't want to be too fancy. Be, like, humble. Oh, it, is humble one of the virtues? Hold on, give me a second. I'm, I'm going to Google this very quickly. Virtues. Right, the seven virtues. Yeah, there's, uh... They're listed as, uh, chastity, temperance, charity, diligence, kindness, patience, and humility. So, yeah, this is going to be, um humility i guess like remember the third virtue be humble don't be like this and then the other one's gonna be diligence like don't be lazy don't just like lie and do nothing be diligent do your work <laughs> i think it's gonna be like that <laughs> it burns a sin i don't want to be right <laughs> yeah different different type of pride i'm i'm all here for the pride just yeah it's it, it is a bit of a shame that it's like the the deadly sin of pride i'm like I, pride's not a sin unless it's like the type when you're like too super proud and um won't listen and think you're better than everything like that kind of pride isn't great i like the other kind of pride <laughs> but yeah i think this is probably gonna be like or maybe like chastity this is meant to be like some kind of um working donkey if you know what I mean <laughs> possibly well it's it's clearly 
like connected to the seven deadly sins at least so here we go it is a thing of beauty to see order prevail if it were not against the first virtue i would feel very happy wait so the first virtue like you're not allowed to feel happy i don't like this cold what a terrible cold i mean it, it's a cold so here we go nicholas I'll wager you feel the new regime to rewards your diligence now. Yeah, diligence, that was one of them. So tell me why I saw you spend more than three shillings on new clothes after I had asked you to lend me money and said you, you said you had none to spare. I suggest you lend me some now, unless you want me to write up an official report about a fourth virtue breach. Your beloved brother. Okay, I think the fourth virtue is greed. <laughs> or the, the fourth virtue is charity. Yeah, it's going to be charity. Fourth virtue will be charity. First virtue will be like the opposite of feeling too many emotions. That's no, that would probably be chastity then, wouldn't it? Like don't don't show your emotions too much. Be very humble. There's gonna be a thing listing all the virtues here after me googling it. <laughs> but it, this is so interesting. Uh, you need to go out to the store and get su get stuff, but it's not only late, you're just not in the mood to go out and walk for 40 plus minutes just to get out there and get back. Oh no, that's the pain. If you don't have transport, having to walk. How badly do you need that stuff? <laughs> How badly do you need that stuff? Yeah, yeah, chastity is going to be like the opposite of the deadly sin of lust. So I guess it would be humility as like the opposite of like pride. And then diligence would be the opposite of sloth. I'm pretty sure. We'll probably get all the words. I think we will get the words for the virtues. Oh, here we go, Mr. Nicholas Maker. Here we go, we've got your history of infractions and obedience. Okay, uh, labeled a protocol as being on a Thursday, even though it was Wednesday. Oh, sloppy work, that's bad. Took a double length lunch break in the office. That's sloth, that's not allowed. But loyal service in low ranking position to the order party, so that's plus 10 merits. So these were quite big infractions compared to just having a secret locker. So Mr. Nicholas Maker got quite lucky that he's been loyal for a long time. <laughs> Otherwise, he would be in trouble, I think. And we don't have like a card for this, for this person. Oh, look, they've all just got these armbands on too. It's terrifying. It's so terrifying. Yeah, oh, nothing you can't wait for tomorrow to get. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I I say leave it till tomorrow. <laughs> but it's a shame when you're like, oh, I need something, but uh, effort. <laughs> it's all right. We're not part of this cult. You can indulge in a little sloth if you want. I felt it in my bones that I should have drunk less. Now we poor souls experience God's wrath. What? Okay, are they on trial here? Are this lot, like, on trial for having too many sins? Is that what's happening? Ooh. Never seen so much merit removed. Yeah, the, I guess they're all getting their merit removed here. Ooh. It's so harsh. This tribunal is a farce. They spread lies that my pure love is merely lust. And what do they even know about true art? I, I see. Yeah, it's definitely sins and virtues. Like, oh. And how about you? Such a relief that they decided not to push any fashion charges. I hope the process is not painful. Oh boy, oh, this is, wow. I hope the process is not painful. I think it is. Oh, is this going to be like... Depending on how many demerits they get, do they, do they like get life depending on their merits? So like the more demerits they get, the older they get? Until they like lose all of their merits and end up just getting all of their life taken? That's so terrifying. That is genuinely terrifying to think about. Ooh. Ooh, let's let's go upstairs. <laughs> alright, well I guess these two are doing alright. <laughs> oh, we've got the records there. Okay. 
All right, here we go. What are you insinuating, James? I would never breach the fourth virtue. You know darn well that I keep no secrets. All right, you've got a bunch of Albion Frank banknotes. Let's see how you've been. You're, you're a plus 11. Yeah, you're doing great. Lord Alistair Koch is, uh, got a demerit for slapping a sergeant in anger and for listening to marching music in his manor but has had loyal service to the Order Party in a high-ranking position, which is plus 20 instead of 10. So he's on a plus 11, so he's doing pretty well, and he's... He's not looking super old, so... I think it probably is that. Over here, that is music to my ears, Alistair. But do control your emotions. We as Arbiters of Order must never violate the first virtue. Yeah, the first virtue is emotion. Like, don't show too much emotion, I guess. Don't... Let your anger get the better of you. Over here, Dr. James Turner. Okay, uh, infraction for drinking a full bottle of brandy at a picnic. And also for keeping the book Legacy of the Rose Dynasty in his study. But loyal service in a high-ranking position for the 20 merits, so he's at a plus 12. So yeah, he's doing very, very well. And also, a letter. Dear Dr. Turner... I must regretfully inform you that during your absence from party business, your senior assistant Daniel has demonstrated extreme untidiness and thus breached one of the virtues. Junior assistant Toby. Yeah, part of this thinking is going to be connecting the virtues with what they are. So the first virtue is emotion. The second virtue is going to be diligence and sloth. I don't want to look at that yet. The third one... Oh, this is another room. <gasps> there it is. Okay, so there's four virtues. So we know the third one is going to be, I'm pretty sure, chastity. And then the fourth is going to be related to greed, I'm pretty sure. So I think those are the four virtues. Right, do I want to look at these or should I look in here first? I'm going to look in here first. Oh, look, they're indoctrinating the youth. Great, wonderful, just what I want from a cult. Oh dear. The four maxims of virtue. Observe the four virtues to avoid losing merit. Virtue one, two, three, and four. So yeah, virtue one has a bottle with brown liquid labeled brandy and a bottle with some substance labeled opium. Uh, the second box has a scroll. Oh. Are these things which have been confiscated for the virtues? Uh, invoice for February 15th, 1795 from Blackbrook Farm. Three pounds of butter, 25 pence. Delivery, 6 pence. Total cost, 29 pence. I have no idea if that's a decent price for butter or not. Who knows? Right, and then in here we have... <laughs> oh no! Wow, that's an image. <laughs> oh, it's Gideon Bell! Portrait of Gideon Bell, painted by Jasmine Nightwings in 1794. I like the little bat. I like that this all just like hints towards him being a vampire. I love that. Good times, he's a little vampire. Then we've also got a violin in here as well. And we've got a book in here titled Autumn Tales. And a book titled Stories. Yeah, I think these are all things which have been confiscated. Yes, remember the second virtue? Store confiscated objects and evidence according to the virtue breached. So yeah, I think that one's going to be greed. That feels like cooking the books a little bit. That one's going to be... Like, the overindulgence. That one... Pleasure? Like, like entertainment? Emotion? Like... No, that could be like keeping material objects and... And then this, Autumn Tales and Stories. Is this just like the fourth virtue? Uh, only speak the truth. No lies. No uh, no fiction books, because those aren't real. Who knows how cults work? <laughs> Who knows how cults work? Silence! You will perform your function as much as is required. It is paramount to ensure order in our new society. And there's the idol. Oh, okay. So we've got activate. 
What were these ones again? Oh. Ooh, to try and remember what this does. I see. Oh yeah, also, uh, if any messages get removed from chat, uh, I, I trust the moderators. <laughs> I've got the I've got a mod team in place that has played the game to know like what would count as being spoilery. So uh, don't worry about it if you do it. It's not like like you're in trouble or anything. It's just so I can do puzzles. <laughs> Right, look at this little child. In all truth, Lord High Arbiter, I would prefer storing no more than this. Oh? Okay, we have the paper, the, the London Gazetteer. Okay, so truth is going to be one of the virtues, and that's why the storybooks are being taken away. Because they don't tell the truth, they're made up. I'm getting the hang of this. So the fourth virtue is truth. Figured that out. Right. Since year 1792, when it gained a majority in Parliament and liberated our government from the multi-party chaos, the Order Party has worked hard to improve society. This doesn't sound dystopian at all. Despite the vast popular support for this party, His Majesty refuses to acknowledge the authority of the party's tribunal. High Arbiter Lazarus Hurst has announced that in two months, the party and its supporters will participate in a peaceful march to the king's current residence to demonstrate their virtue of moderation. There we go, there we go. So we've got the virtue of truth, we've got the virtue of moderation, that's gonna be the, the substances. So the first virtue is moderation, the fourth virtue is truth. Which one's going to be the emotions one? I feel like the third one is going to be emotions. Like, these all provoke emotion. So, the third one's going to be the opposite of emotions, which means the second one, we you know, is, like, greed. The opposite of, like, hoarding and having, like, physical wealth. So, we know the virtues. I just got to find the right words for them. I guess these two might have the other two words. Wouldn't that be handy? I am honoured to help the party up keep the four virtues. I only hope sitting here all day does not count as sloth. It does not, you're learning. It is a worthwhile adventure in, um, cultness. <laughs> eh, there are worse jobs than this one. And thank God tobacco is not considered an indulgence. A bit boring though, too bad literature is forbidden. Right, you've got a half pouch, half full pouch of tobacco. Yep. Bum 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 bum. Yes. Good. Right, we are learning. We are learning. I'm so glad. Uh, that's why you'd be terrible needing to mod a no spoilers backseat in game. Yeah, it's like the way I do it is mostly just. We err on the side of caution. Like, even if it might not be a spoiler, it's better to, like, be a little bit. Like, it's better to delete more things than needed than it is for something to slip through and mean I can't solve a puzzle. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I want, the, like, the main thing I want people to know is, like, if it's, like, an accidental posting something you don't realize could be a hint or spoiler, you're never going to get in trouble for that. Like, that's, that's never a problem. That's why I've got my marvelous mod team. I've got, I've got a great mod team. Thank you so much for, like, agreeing to it. <laughs> For agreeing to help me out, it really means so much. I offer the swords wisely. Also, Hackfeather, thank you so much for stopping in. Thank you for the follow and luck. I hope you have a, a lovely, lovely time. Thank you for stopping in. But yeah, it's uh, I, nobody will ever get in trouble unless you're like actively meaning to post spoilers. <laughs> like if someone comes into chat and starts like saying everything that's going on, like that's. You can tell. You can tell when it's, like, bad intentions. Like, it's it's never, like, you're never in trouble. It's it's more just so I can have the most fun with the game that I can. <laughs> right, I think it's time to start looking through these. Where do we start? Do I just go left to right? Let's just start with uh, Fangor Quinn. Oh! <laughs> Hi! Mr. Fangor Quinn, birth year 1760. Okay, he claimed he had no wife. 
He has a painting depicting a naked person in his house. He broke his wife's favorite teapot in anger. He was observed spending a night with neighbor's wife. Yeah. Yeah, this guy broke quite a few virtues, huh? Oh, wow, that's a... I love that the the picture in here has been censored too. It's like, no, we must not gaze upon this with our with our eyes of moderation. <laughs> Right, let's have a look at Walter Keynes then. Oh, Mr. Walter Keen. He got expelled. Oh, but he was so loyal for so long. Here we go. Charges. Flirted three times with different married women during the party convention. Wore ridiculous headgear at five public events. Claimed he had not betrayed High Arbiter Lazarus during his ritual of ascendance. Ah, after the blackmail with the blackmail I mean like that really does depend on the intention like if if Walter Keane knew the secrets of the idol and knew that it wouldn't work it wouldn't be betrayal but if he didn't know that then he absolutely did sell out Lazarus <laughs> so I guess I guess it was proven that he did sell him out so he's been expelled from the party of order that's oof Oof, after all these years. Uh, oh, thank you for the hydrate and posture check too. I will have a big stretch. Ugh, how high can I get? Not very high. I'm tiny. And I'll have a sip of my monster. While we look at Lothar Richards. Uh, the culprit here, we have Mr. Lothar Richards. Who held a dinner party a few years ago where he offered large amounts of wine to his guests. That sounds like indulgence to me. That's not moderation. Got angry during questioning and shouted at the High Arbiter. However, got the merits back here by revealing the whereabouts of his hiding fugitive descent, dis dissident daughter Mary and her husband Peter. <gasps> wow. Wow, he sold out his family just to get the merits back in this situation. Wow. Wow. Oof. Big oof. Right, let's see let's see Josh Bailey then. That's a gym ticket. Mr. Josh Bailey. Okay, Josh Bailey left his work at Tannery early, drank excessive amounts of gin at the Scrawny Cat, drank excessive amounts of rum at the Old Oak, approached a married woman with an indecent offer, and denied four times during questioning that he had done these acts. So, so not only did he lie and show lust and indulgence, and slot, he's got all four of them here. He's got all four. <laughs> this is all four of the virtues that he's broken. This, this guy didn't do great. See, it's like, we look at this one. This is only two of the virtues that were broken. And he got points back for being truthful. This one, he got expelled from the party of the order. This one, we've got the anger, we've got the lust. And we've got the indulgence. But we don't have sloth here. We don't have, like, the laziness. So, Josh Bailey is the worst at the moment. <laughs> Biggest rap sheet against him. Oh, I think my chibi model couldn't even reach the top of my head with my arms. I don't think I could. I don't think I'd be able to. My head is so big. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to stretch out my hands. I, I could just about reach my glasses, I think. And that's about it. And even then, I'd have to be like, Ew. can I reach him? <laughs> that's why I'm very glad that my beret is glued to my head. Because I can't reach otherwise. <laughs> right, let's look at Horace Webb. Count Horace Webb. Okay, has not held down a job since the new regime. Evaluated as 60 instances of non-work. <gasps> oh, that's a lot of instances then. Uh, claims he works in his castle helping his servants clean it. Hmm, is that a lie? Possesses 15 books kept in his private library. Yeah, that is pretty bad oh but expressed willingness to donate his castle to the party evaluated as plus 200 merit okay okay he saved himself 
by donating his castle for 200 merits. Wow. Wow, this whole cult is just extortion. It's all extortion. It's blackmail. They're blackmailing people. They're like, well, because you told lies and stuff, uh, we're gonna drain your life force unless you give us all your money. <laughs> like, this, this is awful. Right, let's look at Gideon Bell then. There he is, Duke Gideon Bell. Uh, charges, wears an outrageous hairstyle. I thought it was great. I don't think that's indulgence. I, I, I don't think that's too much. I think it's a moderate hairstyle. <laughs> Broke down in tears ten times during the questioning. Has refused to start working, evaluated as five instances of job skipping. Rejected the High Arbiter's request that he share information of a secret entrance to the castle of his cousin, the Sovereign. <gasps> oh, so Horace Webb donated the castle. But then they're giving Gideon Bell more demerits because he refuses to say where the secret entrance is. So that is keeping secrets. That is not revealing the truth. That is being lazy. That is not being diligent. That is showing emotion. That is not being, um... There's gonna be a word for, like, the opposite of emotion. Like, maybe, like... Stoicism or something? And the outrageous hairstyle, that's the moderation one. <laughs> yeah, so he's also broken all four of the virtues. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's a better word that could be used for that. Anyway, I'm on 45 out of 46 words, so... There's like one more word I'm missing somewhere. Right, this all just leads up the same way, yes. Right, so is there something else I could have been? Oh, here, yeah. About the virtues. I think it's, it's going to be about just getting that word. I need just this one word that is the opposite of emotions. I'm pretty sure that is the single word I'm missing here, and it's one of the ones I really need. Emotions, yeah, the first virtue. And tidiness, I already picked that up, yes. Yes, it's one word left. Let me let me have another look downstairs. So much merit removed in the tribunal. Yeah, people have not been doing well at the moment, huh? Remember the second virtue? Yep. Remember the third virtue? Yep. Yeah, the third virtue is going to be moderation. Third virtue is moderation. Fourth virtue is truth. Second virtue is diligence. I just need the word for the, the first <laughs> the first virtue. <laughs> right, I think it is time. Oh, hold on. It's not wrath. Bones. Bum, 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 bum. Love is merely lust. What do they know about art? Fashion charges. Boom, 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 boom over here. Prince of Dusk. At night I am dark and full of terror. He's been writing poetry. Could this be Gideon Bell? Without the hair. Don't feel like Josh Bailey would be the type to write poetry. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Right, I think it's time for me to just stick highlights on just for a little second. Oh! Oh no, that's that's going up. I was like, oh, can I click on this? <gasps> Never mind. I'm silly. It's the paper here. <laughs> I didn't read this paper on the table. That's the only part. We're fine. Weekly order party of People's Tribunal number 42. Uh, six culprits are brought to the tribunal. Tribunal is opened. Each culprit's charges are evaluated and merit changes are calculated. Merit. That was the word I was missing. Okay. Uh, first culprit's merit exta exaction starts. The second culprit's merit exaction starts. Third culprit's merit exaction starts. 
So, yeah, the ones who got executed are Bangor Quinn, Gideon Bell, and Josh Bailey. I think those are going to be the three who had exaction committed, maybe. Because Walter was expelled from the party. And then these two managed to get some merits back by being very well behaved. Hmm. It's interesting. Oh, I've had it in my bones that I should have drunk less. Um, 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 my love is merely lust and what do they even know about true art? That's he's that's um the guy with the uh, blah blah blah. That's Fangor Quinn. What do they know about true art? Okay. I'm back down. I'm down. Okay, this is Fangor Quinn. Not to push any fashion charges. Okay, let's let's go into thinking now. Right, the first. Okay, the the fourth virtue is truth. We know that much. The second virtue is diligence. The first virtue is moderation. Is it moderation? No, that's emotions. Yeah, no, the first virtue is moderation because we saw. No, that's gonna be the word for emotions too. Like emotions in moderation. Don't feel extreme happiness or sadness because that's moderation you just a little bit a little bit so the third virtue what was the third one? Oh, the third one was the indulgence what's the opposite of indulgence no because yeah that's about Vulgar things will be punished. Beauty! No, would that be under... Would it be beauty? It might be beauty. But beauty being in... Um... So, like, vulgar fashion... And stuff like that will be punished. So all secrets, lies, and what else would be there for being punished? Okay, so excessive indulgence, fashion, literature, art, maybe for that one? Okay, so diligence. So at work, sloth untidiness and mistakes will be punished. So the first one, so I think excessive indulgence, emotions, and lust will be punished. Oh, literature, that's gonna be the fourth virtue. So literature, like if it's fiction novels. So then this will be like fashion, art, and music. There we go, we got them. So the first virtue is moderation. Excessive indulgence, emotions, and lust will be punished. The second virtue is diligence. At work, sloth, untidiness, and mistakes will be punished. The third virtue is beauty. Vulgar fashion, music, and art will be punished. And the fourth virtue is truth. All secrets, lies, and literature will be punished. Right, so we can figure out how many merits they lose for these. By going... Like, if we look here... We saw here, this is this is about secrets and lies. So he got plus 10 merits, but he only lost two merits, so each of those are one. So I think here, the fourth virtue of truth, I think that you only lose one merit for that. Because he got 10 back, and then he lost two for the lies here. The lies, the secret, secret compartment, the denying the existence that is telling lies. I think. Okay, over here, he's got 10 merits, but um, he made mistakes in work and was lazy. 
and he got plus 10 merits, so he's got four total. So that means he lost six. So both of these are three. So diligence is minus three merits for each one. Right, next up. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Right, we, we can work out the rest from up here. Right, over here, yes. You've got plus 20 merits, but uh, we've got indulgence here. We've got moderation and beauty. Infractions against moderation and beauty here. And we know that one of each of those is going to add up to nine. Oh, I love maths. I'm, I love that this is now maths puzzles. Oh, here we go. And so now this is indulgence and art. And that adds up to eight. Hmm. That's also indulgence, though. Oh, no, that's indulgence and truth. Oh, because that's only a minus one. So, 19... Seven. Seven is this one. Whoa, moderation is minus seven. That's huge. Wow, okay. So, minus seven for the the angry slapping a sergeant. So then the music's only minus two then. Yes, look at that. Oh, I'm so good at maths. Look at that. <laughs> I'm proving myself. I'm proving myself after that um that incident in Rusty Lake. That it's not a problem. Because I definitely know how to count to eight. Wow, yeah, moderation is the, the most strictly punished thing. Wow. Alright, so something years have passed since the Order Party has seized power. Alright, let's go... Where was, where was the newspaper? Since 1792, so three years have passed. So 1792 was when the Order Party began, and it's now 1795, so that's three years. Three years have passed since Order Party has seized power. During a tribunal, someone is judged to have the largest merit deduction in all tribunal history. To execute his punishment, Idol was used on him, and he lost... Oh my goodness, is each demerit a year? Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah, it's taking years from them! Let's work these out now. Let's work these out. Okay, Fangor Quinn, we've got a lie, the art, indulgence, indulgence. I would. What would a, spending a night with the neighbor's wife be? That's kind of like a lie as well as in, indulgence. Would it be like both of them? I don't know. Well, either way, he's received minuses. <laughs> so we've got... He's got the art. That's minus two. He lied. That's minus one. So we're on three. Indulgence. That's minus ten. And then if the other one is also indulgence for sleeping with someone else's wife, that would be minus seventeen. So I'm going to go with that to begin with. And if it counts as a lie as well, we'll make it minus eighteen. Or if it is just about lying because it's secret, then we'll change it to 11. It might be a secret, actually. I think because it's like a secret, because he just slept with someone else's wife. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see once I've filled everything else up. All right. Walter Keen. What do you got? We got flirt, ridiculous headgear, and a lie. So flirting is going to be the excessive lust. Is it? Yeah, excessive lust, hat, and a lie. So that's going to be minus 10. Walter Keen received minus 10. 
No, okay, I think this is 11. I think it's, I think it's lying because it's like secretly had an affair. No, I'm gonna make it 18. No, there are incorrectly filled in slots. Oh, maybe it's the Walter Keen one that's different then. Let me double check. Oh, flirted three times. Oh, that's gonna be three separate infractions then, isn't it? Oh, okay, so that's another 14 added to this. That's actually 24. Okay. 24, and then I think that's 18, because it's a lie as well. No, it's not. I think that is right. What else did he do? Oh, he, he wore ridiculous headgear at five events. There's so much maths here. There's so much maths I'm in pain. Oh my goodness, Yuria, hi! Welcome! Welcome in Raiders, hi! Oh, you joined at a truly, truly thrilling time. I'm doing maths. <laughs> I have mathematics. Hi, how's it going? Welcome in, Bamboozlers. Welcome, Raiders. I saw you were playing the Rage game. How did it go? Did you did you do great? I feel like you would do great. <laughs> How did it go? Did you have fun? Yeah, game audio is a little loud. Yeah, I've, I kind of have the music, like, blasting for this one because the soundtrack's so great. <laughs> I, I can turn it down a tiny bit. Let's, this is a little teeny bit. Let's put it like there. There we go. But thank you so much for the raid. Yeah, the main problem with this game has been that some of the music has been super, super quiet, so I have to turn it up, and then suddenly it starts blasting at me, and I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> but welcome. Oh, you did not do good. Well, I, I still think you did. <laughs> Whatever you did, uh, console yourself with the fact that you will definitely have done better than I ever would in that kind of game. <laughs> There's a reason why I would never play them. I hope you still had a fun stream, though. I hope you had a good time. Thank you for bringing the raid this way. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games, and this is a puzzle game. It's not the comfiest game. There, um, there's cults. Um, we're investigating a cult that is also the top political party. There's a magic idol. There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> it's like a murder mystery with emphasis on the mystery and weird stuff happening. It's a good game. It's a really good game. <laughs> oh, it's not as bad as getting over it. Oh, that's good to hear at least. Because getting over it, that game is... It's so brutal because you can be right at the end and then you just fall back to the very beginning. Like, if that ever happened to me... I would probably turn off my computer and not turn it on again. <laughs> I've seen so many people playing it and I'm just like, I wouldn't be able to. I, I would not be able to punish myself like that. <laughs> also, just a high. But yes, I, I hope it was still fun though, even if you maybe didn't do great. I, <laughs> I haven't actually seen that many people playing the new one. I kind of want to see, but does it have, like, checkpoints? I don't know if I'm just imagining this in my mind. D does it have, like, moments where it, like, saves your progress so you don't fall back to the beginning? <laughs> I feel like I remember seeing people in, like, a pool of water and then falling a bunch but just going back to the water. Unless that's just the beginning of the game, which is very possible. <laughs> yeah, I don't know much about it. I need to look it up. Uh, but also as well, if you're tired out after your stream, please don't feel like you have to stick around if you want to go rest, get some food, grab a drink, uh, look after yourself, de-stress from climbing and falling. <laughs> but if you do want to stick around, I'm, I'm currently struggling with maths puzzles. But uh, I say struggling, it's not actually that difficult. I just, I just didn't take into account the fact that this guy did things so many times that it's multiple infractions. Like, this is... I did this as a minus one infraction, but he's worn ridiculous headgear at five events. So that's another four I have to add. Oh, there's a big-ass ocean at the beginning. I, I may have just seen the beginning of the game then. <laughs> In which case, never mind. I'm just making things up. But yeah, I've, I've not seen many people playing it. I've seen a couple of clips. Mostly of people 
screaming as they fall. <laughs> Which I think is the main draw for those kind of games. But yeah, I'd be so bad at it. I'm, I'm terrible at any game where you can lose progress. Like, if I'm playing a game, I like to, like, I hoard my progress in games. If there's a if there's a game where it's just like, okay, yeah, you've just lost, you've lost everything, I don't enjoy that. I'm a little hoarder, and that's, like, the same with save files, too. Like, I, I want to hoard everything I've achieved in a game. It's why I, I never restart games as well. Like, if I start playing a game, I never, like, delete my save file to start again. I just really, like keeping my saves forever. It's a problem with Pokemon. I get really attached to my Pokemon. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow as well, Tradgor. Tradgor, I, I can't speak. Tradgor 2. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, it's the biggest problem in Pokemon because um, I still have Pokemon from, like, my Game Boy games that I've managed to, like, transfer down the, like, the eras. I still have Pokemon- I, I still have a Pokemon from Pokemon Coliseum on the GameCube. <laughs> She's in my Pokemon bank at the moment, in my Pokemon home. I keep them all. I, I just- it's a problem. I get too attached to them and then I'm just like, well, I don't- I don't need new Pokemon. I have my old ones. <laughs> oh, it's mostly a problem if I try to like, do like shiny breeding. Like, I- I had a moment where I was like shiny breeding to get a shiny Delcati because I wanted to get a shiny Delcati because it's like pinkish colored and I wanted to name it after my cat Tiffany but then I finally got a shiny Skitty to evolve into a Delcati and I could not name it Tiffany because I already had a Delcati called Tiffany <laughs> and I was like well well, no it's it's not the same I'm so I've got my non-shiny one she, I'm too attached <laughs> Tiffany 2, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, th there can be two of them. I don't know. Knowing my cat, I, I don't know if I'd want two Tiffany's. That would be... That would be chaos. It'd be very cute chaos, but it would be so chaotic. <laughs> Plus, I don't think Tiffany would get along with another cat, even if it was her. <laughs> she's, she's, a very much, she's very much a loner cat. She likes being the only cat in the household. I think she would get jealous of herself. Uh, you gotta go see a movie with guys. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. What are you gonna see? What are you gonna see? I hope it's fun. I hope it's a good film. But thank you so much for bringing the Wraith this way. I hope you have a great time. Get popcorn. Kong versus Godzilla. Good. Good. Excellent. Have fun. <laughs> oh, I want to see that. I really want to see that. I hope it's good. I, I hope it's entertaining. But yeah, thank you for bringing the Wraith this way. Say hi to guys from me as well. <laughs> right, I need to get back to my maths. I've, I've been putting it off. I'm just here talking about Pokemon so I don't have to do more maths, but I must. Oh, here we go. Uh, right, so the third virtue is beauty. He did it five times. We only added one, so... Four times two is eight. We add another eight to here. Twenty-four. That's thirty-two. <gasps> He got minus 32 merits. Oh, Walter Keane, no wonder he was evicted from the order. So, oh, so I guess he lost 32 years and died. Wow. Wow. Unless it's someone else. We don't know the others yet. Let's go back. Let's check out the other ones here. We've got Lothar Richards. Okay, so here we have a dinner party where he offered large amounts of wine to his guests, so that's the indulgence. He got angry, so that's the indulgence. But he got plus 15 merits for selling out his family, for writing out his daughter, so... So that's like minus 7, minus 14. Plus 15, so he's got a plus 1. So he just scraped through with a plus. I think I have to do the zero as well. So he got plus one because he sold out his daughter. <laughs> and Josh Bailey, he, he lost quite a few. Right, he he's got the work one. Indulgence, 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 and four lies. 
So three indulgence, four lies, and the work one. Three... 21 from that. Four lies makes 25. And then lazy at work, 28. Minus 28. Oh, I'm doing it. I know how to count. Look at me. Oh, look, I'm on the first try. I'm, I'm still so convinced I'm going to miscount these. Right, so now we go back to Horace Webb. Look, plus 200 merits. Oh, but he had 15 books. 60 instances of non-work. Okay, so we've got one lie, 15 books, 60 instances of non-work. Okay, 15 books, so that's 30. That's minus 30 there. With a lie, that's minus 31. I'm just going to put the 31 just so I like, remember it. And then we've got the 60 incidents, instances of this. What the heck? Also, sorry, I'd wait. I missed your message. I'm so sorry. Hi! Welcome in. Oh, this is so funny. I saw your chat message and I was like, but you're not introducing yourself. What has happened? And I just realized I missed it. Sorry. <laughs> late night, Zariad. It's late at night. You should be in bed, but the internet holds so many interesting things. It's so true. That's why you go to bed and then you get your phone out and browse the internet. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't. It's That's a bad thing to do. You'll never sleep. But welcome! Welcome, welcome! I'm glad you've decided to indulge on Pink Puzzle Solving Kato. Because that's me! Alright, so we've got minus 31 from the... The art and the truth. Like, telling a lie. But now we need 60 examples of... Not working. Each one is a minus 3, so that's 180. 180 plus 31 is 211? But then he donated his castle to get 200 merits. So in the end, he only got minus 11 merits. Wow. Wow, that's... <laughs> 211 demerits. That's quite a lot. And now we have Gideon Bell. Okay, so here we've got the outrageous hairstyle. Uh, he broke down in tears 10 times. Oh no, that's 70. Oh, that's 70. Oh, I think we know who's downstairs. Oh, that's a lot. Ooh. Oh, wow. Also, Suzume, hello. Welcome in. Welcome, Raiders! How's it going? Thank you for the gay wolf raid! I hope you had fun with your gay mechs. <laughs> gay space mechs. How goes the puzzling? It's going really well. Um, we're at a, a cult tribunal at the moment, and it's horrific. It's, it's terrifying. <laughs> but welcome in! I hope you had a good stream! Thank you for stopping in. Oh, and Dima, thank you for the posture check and hydrate too. Oh my goodness, another raid. Wait, I'm getting so overwhelmed. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, raiders. Welcome. Let me have a quick stretch. I have a quick stretch. Have a quick sip of my drink. Oh my goodness. And I, I, Captain, thank you for the raid. Hi, I, I. Welcome, welcome. I see you were playing Helldivers. A bit of liberty, a bit of democracy. <laughs> Thank you for stopping in. Hello, how's it going? I hope you had a a very democratic stream. I I always see other people playing Helldivers. I feel like it would be so much fun, but I don't like have the time to invest in it, and I feel like I'd keep playing it. But give us all your liberty. Well, um, we're um we're at a cult tribunal at the moment, so um. It could be argued that this is either the most democratic or the least democratic thing you would ever see. We've got a whole merit system going on here. It's terrifying. <laughs> but welcome in raiders from both raids. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And this game's not comfy, but it is puzzles. It's got really good puzzles. It's a lot of fun, even if I've just been having to do maths equations at the moment. <laughs> also, Heron Blade, thank you for the follow too. Welcome. 
Oh, it is fun. If I ever wanted to give it a try, you'd love to introduce me. Oh, thank you. I think I've got a few people who've said that too. Maybe, maybe I'll have to at some point. <laughs> Math on a weekend? I know, right? Like, I went into this like, I am so ready to, to solve these logical de deduction puzzles, and these murder mysteries. And now it's telling me to figure out how many merits they lost. <laughs> But this is a nightmare. This... I think Gideon Bell is the one who has got, like, the biggest amount of merits ever lost. I think... I think this is the, the situation. Because he broke down in tears ten times during the questioning. That is moderation. He broke that ten times. That's 70 demerits. He wears an outrageous hairstyle. That is another minus two. He refused to start working, which is five instances of this, so that's another minus 15. And he's keeping secrets, which is minus one. So we've got minus one, minus three, 15, 18, minus 88. I think he's received minus 88 merits. Which would mean... No, it's not 88. Okay. So we got 70 there for the 10 instances of crying. 70, 85, 86, 87, 88. No, I think that is 88. Because that's the secret. Uh, the five job skipping. Outrageous hairstyle. 10 breaking down in tears feels right. Maybe I got Horace Webb wrong. Right, because he has 15 books, but he lied about working in the castle. Oh, but would that be like sloth at work then, maybe? So it might be 13 instead. No, it's just incorrect. Hmm. Let me go back and try this again. Maths, <laughs> maths is hard. Alright, let's start here. Uh, he's got 60 instances of non-work. 60 times 3 is 180. He claims he works in the castle, which is a lie. 181. 15 books. 181. With 30. 91, 200. 211. But then he gave the castle to the party, which is 200 merits. So that would be 11. I feel like that one's right. I might have gotten Gideon's wrong. Let's go here. Okay, let's just start from the beginning. Where's an outrageous hairstyle? That's minus two. Broke down in tears 10 times. We're on minus 72. Refused to start working five instances. 72 plus 15 is 87. And then didn't share secrets. That's 88. Yeah, I feel like that's 88. Wait, no, the books. The books, literature. That's that's only one merit. It's not two. Okay, so... I got this wrong. I was doing it as two merits and it should have only been one. So I removed 15 from this. So he's got actually on plus four. He's actually on plus four because it was books. It wasn't vulgar art or anything, it was just books. So he's on plus four because he sold his entire castle. There we go, okay. But Gideon Bell received minus 88 merits, which means that he lost 88 years and died. That would be enough to do it. Right, during a tribunal. Gideon Bell is judged to have the largest merit deduction in all tribunal history. There we go. The triumph of order. The order party has seized power and now enforces the four maxims of virtue. The young duke Gideon Bell was judged during the tribunal to have lost 88 merits. The high arbiter of the party, Lazarus Hurst, used the idol to decrease Gideon's youth by 88 years thus making him a hundred, which resulted in his death. Wow! What a punishment! 
Well, I guess that means we're on we're on chapter eleven then. This this is the the last one of the base game. This is the last level of the base game, and it already looks like stuff is happening. Oh wait, he was wrong. Oh no, one hundred and eight. I mis I misread it. <laughs> Making him one hundred and eight. No, he's like twenty, I think. Ah, still, still awful. Just, can you imagine just getting all of your life force drained out of you because you were crying in a courtroom? Because <laughs> an angry cult was yelling, like, not, not yelling. An angry cult was telling you you've done things wrong. I think I would cry there too. I, I would also break down in tears there. I'd, I'd get so many demerits. <laughs> Either that or I would burst out laughing and still also get demerits because that is not moderation. I must not laugh. Maybe like... A polite chuckle from time to time. But no laughing allowed. Right, here we go. We have the slight delay in the peaceful march to the king's castle. Oh. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, there's so much I can look at. Hello. This regime has to fall. It has taken everything from me. Uh, the watch is ticking and it shows 12.15 p.m. And we have a Navaja blade and we have a capital root morning report. At 8, a newfangled insurrectionist carriage passes by. At 8.30, an individual in the insurrectionist uniform passes by on the new two-wheel contraption. Could it be a bicycle? At 10.15, two individuals in insurrectionist uniforms pass on horses. All right, we've got a little log of what's been going on there then. Oh, the music's cool, though. Right. I want to see if there's anything I can, like, mouse over and look at without going into a place before I start going into places. So we're going to look at all of this. Oh, hi! Hello, what are you doing here? Why are you not working, you worthless piece of garbage? I'm doing the same thing I saw Lazarus do during the merit executions. Oh, you're so... S Whoa! Whoa, why is the gem black? Whoa, that's a new one. I was expecting it to be blue or something to be why it didn't work. That's that's black. That's a little worrying. And a slightly dented saber. Oh. Is he Is he literally like trying to take the life from the apple? To give to himself, like give himself the life. Be sneaky. Looks like he's injured his leg as well. That's interesting. Okay, what have we got here? Oh! Oh, hello! A man in a helmet with numerous cuts on his body, not breathing. Slightly dented saber with some blood on it. Oh! Are there, like, cuts in the ground as well? Is that just, like... Wait, the shoes. The shoes? This isn't Lazarus, is it? No, it can't be. It can't be. Lazarus wouldn't put himself in that position. Right, that way to the capital, that way to port, that way to Belchester Castle, Blackfields, Crow Towers, and Woodshoes. Okay. Let's have a look here. Oh, they're having a, a lovely little picnic, huh? There's a horse! A horse with the seven seed stamp! And a note. Oh, he fell off his horse. I think that might have been Lazarus. That might be Lazarus. Also, yeah, the music in this game is so good. I wasn't... I wasn't sure what I was going to be expecting from the soundtrack to this game, but it's been so great. I have some small but pressing business to attend to at the property of our late brother Sebastian, the previous Proud Beast steward. I will be back at the camp for our 10 o'clock strategy meeting as planned. Lazarus. Oh, but this horse has not got a passenger. Ooh. Oh, it's great music. I love it. Also, Zarok, hello! Thank you for the posture check and hydrate. Let me have a big stretch. Ugh. 
I'm so small. My biggest stretch is so tiny. <laughs> but thank you, and I'll have a sip of my monster. A bit of past midnight monster, as you do. Right, let's see what's going on with this picnic then. It's a little baby stretch. I just go, eh. 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 I can't go very far. <laughs> Worry not and continue the feast, wife. Nothing can stand in my way. I will kill our enemies wherever we go. Ooh. Okay, so we've got an almost empty whiskey flask. We've got a small sword. And we have a horse race betting slip. This is gonna be... Um, I recognize this face. I recognize him. He's from the, like the family at the beginning. But he's also clearly not part of the order with all of these virtues and also talking about killing enemies. Yeah, they're all they're indulging here. They're going against the party. This is amazing. Dear husband, you are so brave and you have been drinking since early this morning. But what will we do now? What if the evil government men find us? She's got a harp and a book with some letters in. So this is, um, I've forgotten her name. Was it Mary? This was Mary before, and I'm pretty sure this is... I've forgotten his name, but he's the one who said he would fight a tiger and win in a love letter to her. I guess it worked. I mean, I said it would work on me. Like, if, if someone gave me a love letter and was just like, my darling, I would fight a tiger and win go out with me I'd, I'd, I'd be like well you're making points <laughs> right let's see what these say Ooh, dear mary yeah it is mary i know where your unworthy mate is hiding you soon i will free you from his dirty paws and ship him to colonies while while you i will put on a pedestal of sweetest praise and you will become my ideal wife edmund Edmund Cloudsley. Become the pure flower that I know you can be for me. That's so creepy. That's so creepy. Ideal ideal wife. Who? Who? Edmund, what the heck? Well, Edmund's really gone off the rails with this whole cult. Or, or should I say, well, that's almost... There it is, yes! This is exactly what I meant. Peter Batley. Th th that's him. For you, I would fight a tiger and win. And it worked. It worked. Look at that. Mary, my uncle Edmund Cloudsley died in some robbery and I am rich. Now your father will see me for the man that I am. Let's marry you, Peter. Oh. Oh. Except he didn't. He didn't die. He became Lazarus. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty confident on that at this point. I'm pretty confident that Edmund faked his death, became Lazarus, infiltrated the Brotherhood, took over the Brotherhood, became Prime Minister, is now marching to see the King. I'm. He's. He's really. He's. He's lost it. He's. He's gone out of control. The evil government men, that's... that's... the cult. <laughs> right. Well, hopefully... Hopefully Peter's getting his act together. Although the fact that he's like, he earned all this money, he's still betting on the horses, that feels a little bad. That feels really bad. He still cannot kick the habit with the gambling. But uh, he does seem very sincere, at least in how much he cares for Mary. So at least there's that. Right, what else can I look at? Right, let's look at this boat. What do we got here? Um, sure is a boat. Yeah, it's a boat. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's time to start actually going into places now. I'm just gonna start with... Did I look? Yeah. I'm just gonna start like the furthest down here we can and then we'll make our way towards the palace is the last thing. So we'll start here. Oh, I thought this was like... How do I get out of here? Oh. I thought this was a circus for a minute. It's not. It's a camp. 
It's the camp for the march. The march on the castle. Oh, and I guess that's the newfangled machine that they're all riding on. I mean, to be fair, it is kind of a, a, a circus that's going on here. Oh, look at those chairs, though. Ooh. Yep, okay. Lazarus Hurst. A lovely bust of him. Yeah, there's... Yep. Right, here we go. What have we got here? That was... That is poison. Pretty sure. That... What is this? Lazarus! You took 32 things from me. I demand you return them. If you refuse, I will make the story of your true origins known to the other party leaders. At half eleven on May 15th, meet me at the place the idol was stolen from our brotherhood and poor Willard Wright met his death. Come alone and bring proof, something personal of yours to give to the veiled woman. Tie your reply to the pigeon and release it from the cage. It will find me. The place the idol was stolen from the Brotherhood, that is the the Mermaid Pub. That's the Mermaid Pub. Was it just called the Little Mermaid? I think it was just called the Little Mermaid. So that, yeah, that's where Willard Wright died and he stole the idol. So we've got a, we got a head there. Ooh. What do we got here? Oh, his book has got some notes now. All right, DG, David Gorin, we got the names. Since his success at the Mermaid Inn, yeah, the Mermaid Inn, that's the one, has proven to be a resourceful and discreet person, professional. Yeah, I'm, it's something I was thinking about last time. I feel confident enough to theorize it now. I think he's the one who killed Willard. Willard Wright at the Mermaid Inn, the Ash Blair. I think he just got the name Ash Blair from his tobacco thing, because his tobacco all said Ash Blair on it. Like, he got Ash Blair branded tobacco stuff. And I'm pretty sure it looked like David Gorin. I think he was the one... He went there under an alias. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. He looks like he's from Papers, Please. They, they all have such striking portraits. At first going into this, I was like, oh, I don't know what I think about the art style. But the more I play it, the more I'm just like, this game wouldn't work with a a more like quote unquote normal art style. Like the art style is so perfect. It works so magnificently. It's it's great. <laughs> right, Nicholas Maker, cowardly but dutiful. Useful up to a limit. Just making notes on everybody. Alistair Koch. Pompous and vain, but being a military man is ready to obey and ready to kill. He sure is. James Turner. Greedy and hedonistic, requires constant material motivation to cooperate. And Walter Keane, the quote-unquote gentleman robber. Adv ambitious and inventive, but treacherous as many smart people are. Yeah, I think... I think he was removed from the order because he was getting too smart. It's like, if, if he's too smart, he's a threat. <laughs> Can't have anything that threatens the the new order. Oh, here, we got a map. Okay, so that's Belchester Castle. This is Blackfield Manor. This is the Lover's Islet where they're having their little picnic. That's the Cloudsley Cabin. That's the Little Mermaid Inn. We've got to go there next. That's the Bellwood Crossroads, and that's the party camp. Okay, we've got the names. Nice. Nice. What else is around here? You have paper. Yes, Comrade Lazarus has not yet returned for several hours. Comrades Alistair and James have gone to find him. If they do not return, we will organize more search parties to find the lost. Yes, you will, Nicholas Maker. Right, no, that just goes in the cabin. Yeah, I can't interact with any of the other people. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to read that note on on the desk, but I guess it's not important. Anyway, we're going to the Little Mermaid Inn. Off to the Mermaid Inn we go. It's not sounding so happy this time, is it? 
Oh, those order rats sneaking around here. This is no good. I hope they will just blackmail me and bugger off. <laughs> what a mood. What a mood. He's just like, I don't want any trouble. Just blackmail me so I can give you the money and you can go. <laughs> All right, the Dandelion Room, we have Ada Baker for two nights. And in the Forget-Me-Not Room, we have Walter Nort for two nights. All right, I can't click on any of this. All right, who says, Nonsense, I'm not an idiot. But real men like us could beat those order party ninnies even without any weapons. Well, you got a, a small sword, so... Yeah, it's so interesting that... Having the order party take over, they've changed the currency as well. Because before it was all like coins and stuff, now we got francs. They've changed the currency. And you got a hand of cards, yes. But I heard rumors you lost a cannon while gambling. You got three francs, you got a stiletto blade, hand of cards. Do you think they will try to kidnap the king? Kidnap? Me and my employer are getting out of this blasted country. Look at that. It's the, 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 the family handkerchief and a key and a dagger and a note. Oh. Oh. She's the veiled woman. This is the veiled woman. I've instructed him to arrive at around half 11. Most likely he will be in order party uniform. If he comes alone without any backup outside, approach him. If he gives you something that belonged to the one who escaped your tonic, you may proffer him the instruction slip I gave you. Conceal your face, he may recognize you. She's the one who was working as the maid. She's the one who was working at the maid who tried to poison Edmund, but got the wrong target instead. Which explains why she has all of this. Oh. Right, can we can we go upstairs? No, that leads out. Okay. Yeah, that's just out. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. But uh, we know who the veiled woman is now. Which is pretty good. Right, where do we head next? I guess we head to the, the cloud sleeve. Oh, hello. Damn you, you cunning devil. Ah. You will find me in the place where we two first met. There we can talk. This is going to be David Gorin Walter Keen, I bet. We got two, two pistols, an empty one and a loaded one. Oh, hello. Oh, I recognize that voice. It is you. Isn't it poetic that you've fallen for the same trap as you did all those years ago? Straw men are your bane. <laughs> Look, we've got a dark hand. Second rank. I've forgotten what it is. The one that's not initiate or master. <laughs> that one. You're part of the cult and you have an empty musket, but you clearly already shot it. Ah, a newly invented transportation device. It is a bike. Look at that. What a lovely bicycle. Right. Oh, can we go in? <gasps> Bullet hole through the window. But then he's out here. Hold on. But yeah, because you're part of the cult as well. These two are like... Aren't they working together? Unless it just went straight through him and went in there. Would you look at that? A scarecrow with a hole through its head. Yeah, that bullet just kept going. Oh, yeah, that bullet went straight through him, huh? Went straight through him, straight through the window, straight through the scarecrow, into the wall. Oh, wait, no! I bet that is, um... He shot the scarecrow in the cabin, thinking he was getting someone but he didn't and then he came out and was just like yeah i got you <laughs> oh there's the pigeon white pigeon and 
we have a bag. I admit I may have treated... Oh, uh, have. I admit I may have treated you unjustly after our long cooperation. I will come alone in peace so we can discuss your compensation. Yeah, this is... Um, Lazarus sent this to Walter Keane because Walter Keane ended up getting all the demerits and getting demoted, like removed from the order. So then he sent back this reply saying, I will come in peace. We'll discuss your compensation. But he never intended for that. He was just going to shoot Lazarus. But they saw that was going to happen anyway. They, they tricked him. They tricked him! Oh, goodness. Okay. The pieces are very slowly coming together. Oh, I love this game. Yeah, I think he just, like, he just saw the figure through the window and shot in. But it wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't him. It wasn't him. And then he got him. Nice. Alright, let's get out of here now. Let's try... Where next? Where haven't I looked? Oh, here. This is going to be the Cloudsley Manor, I think. Oh, this place has definitely seen better days. <laughs> oh, it's looking a little, little worse for wear. I'm... I have a feeling the house may not have been looked after. <laughs> There's an empty cannon here. Look at that. Uh, a pile of mangled and burned corpses. Great. What a... Th this is... Isn't this lovely? Isn't this so nice? Uh, oh, I wish I could, like, look in the cabinets and stuff, but I don't think I can. Right, well... Oh, I can't even, like, examine the palace. I thought I'd be able to. Right, I'm on 33 out of 36, so I'm only missing a couple of words. So I'm thinking now might be a good... A good time to go into thinking mode, see... See what we can piece together, because then I think if I have an idea of what I'm missing... It'll give me more of an idea of where to look for it. Oh, here we go. It's just everything now. Oh, we got everything. Oh, look. What has happened? Oh. I can go back to the other chapters. This is just... It just takes me back to all the other chapters. I need to use clues from everywhere. I need to figure out things from literally everywhere. I've got to go back between everything. Wow, let's see how much I remember. All right, well, to start with... All right, there's a lot of people who got killed. early. Someone got killed early in the morning. Someone got killed before noon. Someone got killed in the afternoon. Right, I think we can determine that uh, this... I think this is probably Walter Keane. Possibly. I don't know. Let's go back. Let's go read what this note said again. Right, there it is. You took 32 things from me. I demand you return them. <gasps> 32! 32. You took 32 things from me. 32 years? Walter Keane. Walter Keane got 32 demerits. Yeah, that is Walter Keane. That's Walter Keane. Okay. All right, I was right. I feel smart. <laughs> I'm so glad. Yeah, Walter Keane arranged to meet Lazarus here. Fully intending to just kill him. But Lazarus probably knew that. And set up a trap to kill Walter instead. <laughs> oh, Primal Z, hello. Welcome, welcome. How am I liking the game so far? It's incredible. If it looks like a lot going on at the moment, that's because it absolutely is. I'm on the last chapter. <laughs> I'm at endgame at the moment. I have to use all of the clues I've learned from the previous chapters to figure out what's going on here. And it's incredible. Right, when did they say they were going to meet? That's the question. Right, let me go back. 
back to here. What did this note say? At, at half eleven. Meet me at the place the idol was stolen from our brotherhood and poor Willard Wright met his death. Uh, come along and bring proof, something personal of yours to give to the veiled woman. That's the handkerchief. That's why she has the handkerchief to prove that it's Edmund. So then what happened after that? It's going to be after half eleven that he ended up getting killed then. I think after half eleven, but before noon. I think that's going to be this. Hmm. Right, because half eleven is not early in the morning. That is the before noon part. So before noon... something over here you found the golden idol and they started to fight over it right this one is gonna be something something and uh what's his face alistair Koch. they went out to try and kill somebody who I'm not sure about yet but instead they found the golden idol I'm not sure exactly where but uh, on the way back they started to fight about it they started to fight over it so I guess here like at the crossroads I think they probably started to fight at the crossroads so like on the way back whereabouts would they be then it's like, if they started to fight at the crossroads, that's like after they were on their way back. Hmm. Right, let's start with early in the morning. Right, would it be like, would it be the, the half 11 counting as early in the morning? That really doesn't feel like early to me. Half eleven. That's that's not early in the morning. That is that is like nearly lunchtime. Who were doing? Who was doing early stuff? Who was out here early, doing early things? Yeah, this this lot were like setting things up. She's got the handkerchief. She got the the personal item. Uh, I've instructed him to arrive at half eleven. Yep. It gives you something to the one who escaped your tonic. You may proffer him the instruction slip. So then the instruction slip was what we saw in the cabin. That's the instruction slip, I think. Is it? Maybe not. Oh, instruction slip there. You will find me in the place where we two first met. Then we can, there we can talk. That's the one. So then he would have arrived here at, like, around noon, probably. Ugh. Right, I think this part is going to be in the afternoon. I'm going to hope this is right. In the afternoon, Walter Keane went to the cabin to kill Lazarus Hurst because Lazarus Hurst had tried to kill somebody else to get back his golden idol. I think that might be what it is. <laughs> hmm. Uh, no, I'm going to start at the start here. I'm going to go uh, early in the morning. Lazarus Hurst went to the inn. I'm going to presume that half 11 is going to be there early in the morning. <laughs> it doesn't feel early to me, but uh, Lazarus Hurst went to the inn to find... I don't have her name. Was 
would it be to find Walter Keen? Because Walter Keen wanted to... Hold on, let me... I want to check that note again. Because uh, he wanted to have the golden idol, I think, maybe. Let's try it. I, I don't know if it's going to be right. I don't think it's going to be right. No, that's not right. Oh, I'm just realizing here. I think uh, they went out to try and do something, but in instead they found the dead body at the crossroads. Yeah, on the way back they started to fight over it. No, but like fight over it. Why would they fight over the dead body? We know Alistair Cock has somehow ended up with the golden idol. <laughs> That's the real question here. Like, how do... Oh. This one is so interesting to think about. This is... I'm, I'm on like 33 of 36 words. I think I'm going to do a highlight to try and get the other three words because I feel like that might help me. If I can get the other three words somehow. Right, let's go in here. Is there something else in the bag? No! I found everything from here. Why is it telling me there's the, the yellow sparkles? I don't see any. Okay. Alright. Um. Here. Yellow sparkles? No, I just got the cannon. The cannon and the the bunch of mangled corpses. That's all there is there. Anything else here? No, there isn't anything I've missed here. They're all red. What about here? No, this, is there something I missed here? No, because I think they always show up with like a yellow arrow. Yeah, no. There's nothing I've missed here. I don't know where my last three words are. This is interesting. Let's go back here. I, I got all of that. I got all of this. I got you. And I don't know why the gem is black. Which is terrifying. I'm so even the hints aren't helping me now. Unless I can go back to these and find new things. But like for this level. No, it does just take me back to the level. It's. But I found all of the words for all of the previous levels, so hmm. Yeah, it's just straight up not showing me where where the last words are okay all right well i'm still stuck figuring this out on my own then i guess all right heading to the inn to find oh wait yeah i cuz i'm forgetting about peter Peter Bailey here, talking about like killing our enemies, nobody can stand in our way. I bet he wants to kill Lazarus. Because he's literally being blackmailed by him. Or she is. We got Mary, yep. Uh, Edmund Cloudsley died in a robbery, except now we know he didn't. Oh wait, I forgot about that. Oh, wait, yeah, he wants Mary to- Oh, ugh. 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 He, want, he wanted to have the, the, the ideal wife. Early in the morning, he went to the islet. He went to the islet to find Mary 
Is she going to be Mary Batley now because she married him? Because Lazarus Hurst wanted to have the ideal wife. Almost. Almost. I don't remember what her original surname was. Went to the islet to... Oh, to kidnap her! No? Because he wanted to... Wanted to find the perfect wife? Find, have... I feel like it's some combination of those. Uh, unless he went there to... Fight Peter Batley. Nope, that's, that's even more wrong. Okay. It's definitely along these lines. Uh, he went to the islet to... To find Mary Batley. I feel like kidnap. Kidnap Mary Batley works. Because he wanted to have the ideal wife. Ooh. There, you will become my ideal wife. Yeah, he's... Lazarus Hurst went to... Oh, I guess he wouldn't have gone to the islet. Where would they have started at? Would he have gone to the manor? He went to the manor to kidnap Mary Batley because uh, Peter Batley inherited the manor. So he went there to kidnap Mary and that's why there's like the the big old machine outside that he's literally like bombed the place but Peter Batley had a cannon too so they managed to escape they fleed over here he's just here just nothing can stand in my way I will kill our enemies wherever we go is there, you're so brave yeah he's honestly after all of that I would also be drinking since early this morning what if the evil government men find us? Okay, so they're on the run now. Because Lazarus tried to kidnap her. <laughs> right, so now at this point... No, but I think they did find the golden idol at the crossroads. I think at this point, this is Alistair Koch. And... I don't know who else it would have been. I think it would have been James Turner. I feel like Alistair Koch and James Turner are doing a lot of stuff together. And we know that Nicholas Maker is back at camp doing all the notes and stuff. And we know that uh, Walter Keane got shot outside the cabin. So, so I think Alistair Koch and James Turner went out to try and... Who are they going out to kill? See if they have any orders. Yep, David Gorin is resourceful and a discreet professional. Uh, ready to obey and kill, James Cobb. James Turner requires motivation to cooperate. And he doesn't trust Walter Keane, so I think Alistair Cobb is safe. I think he's one of the ones he would take out he would like send off on a, a hit job the question is about who he went with whoever was on the other horse he's got the one horse here's the other horse seven the seven the seal seven uh it is it is james turner it's james turner alistair Koch and james turner went out to try and kill who they went out to try and kill somebody at the 10 o'clock strategy meeting. They went out to try and kill... I think this is going to be... They tried to go out to kill Walter Keane, but instead they found the golden idol. No, that's incorrect. I think they definitely did find the golden idol and start a fight about it, I think. Uh, I think they might have gone out to try and kill Peter Batley. Because if Lazarus had a meeting with them after the failed siege to kidnap Mary Batley, he would be like, right, I want, I want Peter 
I want Peter Bartley dead. But then if they found the golden idol at the manor, <gasps> at the manor. No, not at the manor. I feel like this would have been the place to find it. Ooh. Unless they just found it at the camp. <laughs> no. Oh, this is so interesting. Oh, you love how all of the NPCs' expressions look like they're either immensely terrified or pondering life. It's so true. They really do. It's... I think that's part of why I love it so much. All of the expressions are so expressive. Like, you learn so much about the people from their expressions. Alright, so early in the morning, somebody killed someone at the crossroads. We know that much. Oh, I think they might have found the dead body at the crossroads. Did they find the dead body at the crossroads? Nope. No, the fact that it's got- they started to fight over it makes me think that it is the golden idol because of the fact that he has it now? Like, I think he would only have it if he found it somewhere. Somehow. Some way. But uh, where would they have found it? That's the question. Oh, thank you for the hydrate! I will have a sip of my monster. Yeah, this is this is the time to down my monster thing, I think. Like, this is where the brain cells connect. I want to finish this today. I realize it's already nearly 1 a.m., but I'm if if I run over on this one, I'm okay with that. I wanna run over on this one if I need to. I I wanna finish this today. <laughs> we have a sippy. Alright. Okay, we got this part right. And then over here, uh, in the afternoon, Walter Keane went to the cabin to kill Lazarus Hurst because Lazarus Hurst had tried to maybe like, hmm, try to fight Alistair Cop to get back his golden idol. No, I don't think that's right. That's... I think we're close though, definitely. Yeah, 1am is the best time for puzzle solving. Yeah, that's... It's why I do late night streams on a Sunday. I'm just... <laughs> because I, I don't work on Mondays, so I, I don't have to be up early on Monday mornings. So I'm like, what better way to use up all the leftover brain cells from the week than to play puzzle games? <laughs> it's fun. You have Wednesday off. Huzzah. Huzzah indeed. Right, so I think somebody was probably killed at the manor. Early in the morning, I think Lazarus Hurst killed somebody at the manor. Well, we know we know Peter Batley and Mary Batley are still alive. We know Nicholas Maker is still alive. We know that James Turner and Alistair Koch went out together, but only one of them is not on the horse. So I'm thinking that this dead body here, this is going to be James Turner, I think. But then it's like, I'm so suspicious of the shoes, because it does look like Lazarus's shoes. But I don't think that's Lazarus. This was there with the boat, too. Just a boat, I guess. There, there is just a boat, I suppose. Wait, what did this say? Okay, yeah, at 8, the newfangled carriage passed by. Uh, at 8.30, the new two-wheel contraption. That one is, um, Walter Keane. And then at 10.15, two of them passed by on horses. That's going to be Alistair Cock and James Turner. So we know... We know Walter Keane was out here at, like, 8.30, which is very early. So maybe early in the morning, Walter Keane killed James Turner at the crossroads. No, I don't think that's right. I don't think he would have... I don't think he would be dead yet. Who was killed when? That's the main question. Because we have... 
Like, he's not dead yet. So this is, like, the last thing. Like, in the afternoon, someone killed Walter Keane at the cabin. Question is, who's this? I've got the word years! I missed years! Ah! Oh. We know this is like the proud hand- oh, okay. Okay. Uh, proud hand steward. Wait, the proud hand steward here is Walter Keane. Oh no, proud beast? No, he's the dark- yeah, he's the dark hand steward. We've got that as Walter Keane here. I cannot Is think. that Walter Keane? Did he have so many years taken from him? <gasps> this might be Walter Keane. <gasps> oh. I think this is Walter Keane. I think he turned the tables. I think he turned the tables. Recognize that voice. It is you. Isn't it poetic that you've fallen for the same trap as you did all those years ago? <gasps> yeah, that means this is David Goren then. Yeah, this is David Goren, because David Goren was originally the one who opened the coffin which had the, the scarecrow in. Oh. In the afternoon, Walter Keane killed David Goren at the cabin. Oh. Right. Okay, okay. I already figured that out an hour ago. No, I thought this was Walter Keane. I was getting it the wrong way around. <laughs> and I was just like, well, Dark Hand Initiate. I didn't like put the pieces together fully to realize that this was Walter Keane. But it, it makes so much sense. He, it said like, cause he, he took, you took 32 years from him. Yeah, I, it's like, I figured it out without figuring it out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Like, I had all the pieces put together, but for some reason I'd put a puzzle piece on top of the other instead of, like, clicking them in place. Like, that's... <laughs> that's what happened here. I'd found both of the pieces that go together. I just... I, I, I was just saying, this is one piece and this is the other and they go together. And then I didn't put them together. <laughs> but I, I have now. I have now. I have now. Oh... Oh, the scarecrow. Good times. Good times. There's just so many pieces. There really are. Right, so then I'm like... Hmm. I'm gonna guess. Uh, David Goran went to the cabin to, to kill Walter Keane. Uh, I feel like I need, like, the word... Oh, like, kill. Because Laz Lazarus Hurst had tried to kill somebody to get back his golden idol. Did he try to kill James Turner? Nope. Nope, I'm going to leave that for a second. Right, I need to start from the top. It's like the the real question here is just like what the heck is Lazarus doing in all of this? Bum, 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 bum. Yep. Met them there, got all the information, did all that the like strategy. <gasps> Lost! Lost! I got a new word. I got another word I missed. Okay, I need to talk to more people. I need to go back to, and talk to all the people again because it's not telling me if I've got all the words from them or not. <laughs> Kidnap. Yeah, we got that one. Okay. Blackmail! Yes! 
There, I've got the words. I've got them. I've got all the words. I've got all the pieces. I just gotta put them together. Because Lazarus Hurst had tried to. Oh no. Because uh, Walter Keane had tried to blackmail Lazarus Hurst to get back his lost years. Yes, there it is. There it is. Yep, David Gorin went to the cabin to kill Walter Keane because Walter Keane had tried to blackmail Lazarus Hurst to get back his lost years. Yes, okay. But then Walter Keane ended up killing David Gorin at the cabin. Right, let me go back to the, the manor a second. There are bodies down here, a pile of mangled and burned corpses. Who are they? Did Lazarus get killed this soon? No, because Lazarus went to the, the pub to hand over the handkerchief. So he must have still been alive here. I think that may actually be Lazarus at the crossroads. I feel like I recognize the shoes. I feel like this may genuinely just be Lazarus. I didn't think it was to begin with, but now I, I think it is. I'm gonna put it in like this. But who would have, who would have killed him? Uh, they went out to try and kill, who'd they go out to try and kill? That's the question. Those two definitely went out together. They went out to try and kill. Did they try to kill Lazarus? Ooh, I'm close. Oh, instead they found the golden idol at the crossroads. No. Hmm. Oh, oh, I think they found the dead body at the crossroads. No, they, they did find the golden idol at the cross. Not at the crossroads. Wait, how does the path go? I saw a map. Where the heck was that map? <laughs> I've got to find this map again. Was it here? this map I know someone had a map was it at the inn no was it did you have the map no you've got a, a betting slip who had the map does the horse have the map nope the horse has they at the property of our late brother Sebastian blah 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 I'll be back for the 10 o'clock meeting but then he never showed up again for the 10 o'clock meeting because he was killed at the crossroads. I don't I think they went out to try and kill somebody else, but then they found the golden idol at the crossroads. Who did they who would they go out to try and kill? What was the order they were given? They were given an order. No, it was just here, just like, I'll be back at the camp for our 10 o'clock strategy meeting. But then he didn't return. Yes, Alistair and James went to find him. Oh, they went out to try and find Lazarus Hurst. That easy, it's that small. But instead they found the... Oh. Instead they found the dead body at the crossroads. Nope, I think it is the golden idol there. Found the golden idol at the castle? No. The cabin. Hmm. Hmm. They went out to try and find Lazarus Hurst, but instead they found the, the golden idol at the crossroads. Oh wait, must they found the... Had a great time watching Outer oh. Wilds VODs. May Scout always like your way. Oh, Primal Sad, thank you so much! 
Thank you for contributing to the Outer Worlds Collector's Edition Fund. Thank you so much. That is so appreciated. May Scout always light your way. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, it's so close to the, the, the goal amount I put now. It's kind of funny because the goal amount doesn't actually still match how much it costs with shipping, but I, 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 it was a nice round number, so I put it at that. But thank you so much! I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I've, I've enjoyed playing it too. And I'm excited to be playing more of it too in two or three weeks. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes me to do the DLC of this game, but then I'm going to be jumping straight back into Outer Wilds because I got the DLC. I want to do the, the DLC part of it too. Oh, I'm, I'm so close here. It's a, uh, I think. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's like those two went out to try and find Lazarus Hurst. That much is right. Yeah, th this will definitely be more than one session. I think I've probably lost like an entire hour's worth of like puzzle time because of getting distracted and chatting and stuff. Like, I'm fine with that. That's not a problem to me. But yeah, it's it's gonna be another two weeks of this, I think. But then, but then it will be out of wilds again. For however long that will take. <laughs> you are quite distracting. Yes, yeah, just just slightly, but in the best way. Like I am, I'm here for it. I'm here to get distracted. It's why I stream. If I just wanted to play games normally, I'd just do it on my own. But that's boring. <laughs> I like the tangents that streaming gives me. I feel like it's part of why I really like visual novels too, because sometimes the games will just go off on such a tangent and we end up talking about like really deep philosophical stuff. And it's so fun. I love it. I love just I love just talking shite. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, I need to figure this out. So yeah, they, they went to try and find Lazarus Hurst. Ah, uh, did they find the golden idol? Did they find it at the crossroads? Did they go to the inn, maybe? No. It's like, where would they have found the golden idol? See, I thought it would be crossroads. Black crossroads. Maybe they just didn't fight over it. Maybe they started to kill over it. No, they did not start to kill over it. Okay, but I, th I think that it's like, it's these two. Figuring out these two. I, I think the rest of it is correct. I do think it is the crossroads. What other words do I even have? Did they start to blackmail over it? Nope. Did they start to kidnap over it? Nope. Did they start to have over it? <laughs> start to fight over it. I feel like they started to fight, probably. I still don't know what happened to James Turner. I need to figure that out. It's like the question really here is, is this James Turner or is this Lazarus? I think it could be James Turner. Wait, let me go back to here. Oh, I can't see his shoes here. That's useless. Never mind. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too. Let me have a sip. James Turner, I want to see your shoes, please. This is the best example. No, you can't <laughs> see nothing. Oh. Uh, but yeah, because it's like the shoes that look like that. That's, um, Lazarus's. It's Lazarus's shoes. So that makes me think it might be Lazarus. But I'm not sure. These are satin here. <laughs> I will figure this out, I'm determined. Also, Illuminati Krita, VT lover, thank you for the follow, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, I hope you have a fun time here. I love that you, you follow right as I'm talking about wanting to see everybody's shoes. I, pr I promise I'm not, I don't do that. <laughs> oh, it's like I'm, I'm seeing the, th those are Lazarus's shoes. So then it makes me think that's Lazarus. But where the heck? 
Where the heck has James Turner gone? Where the heck is James Turner? No, that's not James Turner, is it? I don't think it is. We got Peter Batley there. Beh, 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 beh. Yeah, we know that's Nicholas Maker. He's just, like, sat here. But yeah, Alistair and James went to go find Lazarus. Alistair Koch and James Turner went out to try and find Lazarus Hurst. Instead, they found... I'm presuming they found the Golden Idol, because... Because here, he's, like, trying to make it work. He's just like, why are you not working? I, I was... I'm doing the same thing I saw Lazarus do during the Merit executions. I want to know what the heck has happened to James Turner. Like, he's not on his horse anymore. His horse is just, like, going off. He's clearly, like, not on his horse. He wouldn't be here, would he? It's like, this is either James Turner or Lazarus Hurst. I, I don't know which of the two it is. I guess I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a guess. I'm gonna make a guess and say that Alistair Koch killed James Turner at the crossroads when they were fighting over the idol. All right, oh yeah, and then early in the morning, uh, Lazarus Hurst? killed someone at the manor. No, who's, who's been killed here? Like, I've only seen two bodies. We've got this body here, and then we've got this body here. And then I, I guess, like, the only other bodies here are, like, the pile of mangled and burned corpses. This is wild. And oh, I'm great, likeable, and cute. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you think so. I, I love that you're, you're saying such a, a lovely, wholesome comment. And I'm just here like, well, we've got mangled bodies over here. <laughs> Oopsie. I, I, I do do a lot of comfy streams a lot of the time. It's just that this game is a little bit dark tonally. It's just got such amazing puzzles. I love it. But thank you so much. That's so nice. Right, I feel like I saw something about a cannon. Was it here? Was it like... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, let's marry. I, I died in a robbery. I'm rich. I saw something mentioning cannons somewhere. Oh, I heard rumors you lost a cannon while gambling. You lost a cannon, huh? Hum, hum. Could this be? No, that's a very different face. That's not him. <laughs> Alright, and you're just teaching the youth. Ooh. David Goran, there's Nicholas Maker. They're all being punished. There's Bob, just all of, like, the whole, like, 88 years taken. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm so close, yet so far somehow. I still refuse to press hints, though. I will never use a hint. That are. Uh... Uh, all right, off to eat dinner. Oh, I hope you have a lovely dinner. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you. Wishing me the luck, the most luck as I figure this out. Also, oh, you're from you're from Germany. You're from Germany, isn't it? Two a.m. <laughs> isn't it very late in Germany right now? Unless you're living somewhere else. Either way, I can't say anything. It's one a.m. for me. <laughs> but thank you for stopping in. 
Dankeschön. Äh, ich, äh, ich spreche nicht Deutsch. <lacht> äh, ich spreche keine Deutsch. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything. It's fine. No hints. No hints allowed. Like, I'm so close here. Right, it's like he went to the manor to try and kidnap Mary Batley because he wanted to have the ideal wife. So early in the morning... Uh, Lazarus Hurst killed... Body? No. <laughs> Who did he kill at the manor, though? Like... <laughs> He killed somebody there, or somebody killed somebody early in the morning. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I think. I think Peter Batley killed Lazarus Hurst. at the manor. Yes. Yes, there we go. <laughs> it's Peter Batley. He killed Lazarus Hurst at the manor. But uh, they went to try and find him, but instead, they found the golden idol at the manor. I did it. I did it. <gasps> I did it. <laughs> That was it. Those were the last few pieces. I just had to get them in the right order. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. And oh, wait, you tried to subscribe to me, but Twitch doesn't respond. Oh, that's okay. Oh, hopefully Twitch works soon if you do still want to subscribe. But thank you so much. That's really sweet. But oh my goodness, I did it. Oh, I'm going to have my drink now. I'm going to have my, my hydrate before I read through this. Oh. A victory sip. <laughs> The scroll has been fulfilled. No hints accessed. Before storming the king's, the king's castle with the order party, Lazarus Hurst led his men to Sebastian Cloudsley's old manor in order to kidnap his long-lost love Mary Batley, nay Richards, who was hiding there with her husband Peter Batley. Upon entering the manor, Lazarus and his troops were confronted by a drunk Peter and the cannon he had won while gambling. Peter blew up Lazarus, breaking the idol, and then fled the scene with Mary. So the idol broke. That's why the gem's broken. Oh, we did it. Thank you for playing. Where's my cursor gone? Oh, there it is. Thank you for playing. Oh, the, I can't believe that the drunken gambling addict saved the day here. <laughs> Mr. I will fight a tiger for you <laughs> wow what a great story thank you for playing thank thank you <gasps> drink down with virtues <laughs> yes revolution back to back to debauchery <laughs> hey weren't you with the order party oh no 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 i was never part of that ghastly organization he, he lied as easily as he breathed we, oui, I can take this gilded brass trinket for scrap metal. You can have three so for it and call yourself lucky. Yeah, that, that idol's not worth anything anymore. <laughs> oh, happy ending. Look at that. Down with virtues. It's time to enjoy ourselves uh, in moderation. You won't get seven demerits, but still enjoy things in moderation. Oh, what a great game, though. What an incredible game that was. That was so fun. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, we got the music. I can put my magnifying glass away now. I don't need it anymore. I found it all. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. That was such a good game. I'm so excited to do the, the DLC too. That was so good. 
A special thanks to our amazing Discord detective community and everyone who helped testing the game and sharing feedback. I want to join the Discord detective community. I've got to find that. I want to join that. I'm a detective. <laughs> Thank you for playing the case of the Golden Idol. Thank you for making it. What a good game. I did it. Oh, there's an epilogue. <gasps> I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Epilogue. The grand vision of a better world. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've, I left the, the thingies on. I don't want highlights. Go away. All right, here we go. Witness the power of the idol in my hands and swear loyalty to Lazarus Hurst. We will build the ideal society. Oh. This is like the the origin of the cult. Right, here are the virtues. Ah, the Brotherhood of Masks. Only one thing is worse than imbeciles. Imbeciles with power. The rich and noble have a social club with mystical rituals and other hogwash and are so stupid that they did not realize when they had some truly miraculous technology in their hands. However, they are influential and persistent and have already caused a great deal of harm to me and my goals. Walter Keane has told me more about their organization and practices. If he tells the truth and they are truly devoted to their religious entity of Griffin Reborn, I could gain some powerful allies for my next move. It all, it, this is all like the, the missing pieces to put in. The pieces I figured out along the way, it's, it, we're, we're actually getting like definitive proof now. I like this. Order Party Manifesto. One, all citizens are equal. Two, all citizens must serve society to the full extent of their abilities. Three, citizens must be evaluated according to how virtuous they are. Oh, how virtuous they are. Four, a society with internal contradictions is unsustainable. Therefore, it must be led by the most virtuous citizen. The king should step down. The arist aristocracy must be abolished. The more virtuous citizens are better able to serve society. Therefore, virtuous citizens deserve to gain more time on this earth, and bad citizens deserve to lose time. Ooh, he really is choosing who deserves what, huh? <gasps> this is unbelievable! My pure Mary is joined in matrimony with that clown Peter Badley. She must have done it out of grief for my death. Such a hasty decision goes against every principle of virtue. Therefore, I consider the marriage null and void. You, you can't just decide that, buddy. You can't, you can't, no. She will come to me once she learns I still live. But for now, my duties in the service of humanity take precedence. Oh, he really, I was gonna say he lost it. Did he really like have it in the first place? Like, he, he always was a little bit off the rails right from the beginning with his experiments. Like, I, I say he lost it. Did he have it? <laughs> Debatable. Society must be built on the principles of virtue. Only thus can it become truly great. Look at the Lemurians. Thousands of years ago, they had an empire on the bank of, of seven seas. Their ancient technology continues to baffle modern science. But they became inert and decadent and forgot how to build and operate their machines. Their empire crumbled because it was built on pleasure-seeking, not a virtue. It is by divine providence that I got my hands on a working ancient Lemurian artifact, the Golden Idol. I will use its powers to set humanity on the right path by building the ideal state. Yeah, this is some, like, Death Note Kira stuff going on. Like, I will build a new world, the best world, whilst just being heinously awful in every way. <laughs> I swear it. Yes, with these powers I will do whatever is necessary to build a better world. Yeah, look at that! Okay, so here we have all the names. So for each of the clans, like the first one we've got Chester Davy, Nicholas Maker, and Willard Wright. Here we have Walter Keane, Jeffrey Sinclair, and Sebastian Cloudsley. And here we have James Turner, Angus McBain, and Alistair Cox. Well, we know what happened to Angus. He he sure tried to do a miracle and jumped off a lighthouse. So yeah, I guess this is between those chapters then. This is like before the chapter where Angus like stepped off a lighthouse. <laughs> no, 
nice. And good old ah uh, um, 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 uh, David Gorin, as his name. Yes, my lord. I swear my loyalty to you and will undertake whatever tasks are required of me. David, I thank you for dealing with all the challenges relating to my death and for keeping an eye on our new ally. I do feel I have impressed him not only with the Golden Idol, but also with my vision of the ideal society. Come to our hideout on November 24th. We are ready for the next step. Easy. Yeah. Nice. So we've, we've got uh, the, the Walter Keen on our side. We've got Lazarus, we've got Walter, we've got David. Pledging allegiance. Here we go. Okay, Brotherhood Masters. Right. Right, let's start from, from the left. <laughs> right, so I think this is Sebastian. Sebastian Cloudsley left the idol to the Brotherhood in his will, but then... Uh, it was... Was it David Gorin? Yeah. David Gorin on... Where's Edmund? On Edmund Cloudsley's orders stole the idol and accidentally stabbed Willard Wright. Uh, the... The Brotherhood... Tasked, who did they task? They tasked somebody to punish Edmund Cloudsley and recover the idol, but his attempts were fruitless. Who was it who... Hmm. <laughs> it was Ash Blair, not David Gorin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm so glad I figured that out. It was one of the things that I was like, I was theorizing in my head, but I couldn't fully remember what he looked like enough, which was when I had a moment of like, that could have been him. I think, like, the moment that made me suspect it was, like, in one of the later chapters when I saw he, that he had all of the Ash Blair, like, tobacco products. It, it was then I was like, was that him under an alias? Right, who, who did they task to punish him? back here because I feel like it was it was the maid it was you it was Ada saying here that, that there was the the thing to, to poison him I don't have Ada as an option here though hmm oh you didn't yet realize that every character model is unique yeah it's, <laughs> it's so cool it's really cool. Like, I didn't fully realize it either, but it's like, it's... Oh, it's so, it's so cleverly done as a game. It's so good. Who did they, they task to punish Edmund Cloudsley? Uh, that's the part I'm not sure about. what you got but yeah look it's it's like you could it's it's him it's david gone uh, tasked to punish edmund cloudsley i know somebody was tasked All of these notes, all of the notes in here. Yep, the Brotherhood of Masks, just there, like, uh, last chance for repentance or we will unleash one of our stewards. <gasps> stewards! 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 Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Where was the thing that had the stewards? Stewards, steward. Stuart is the second one. Ooh. 
Would it be Walter Keane? Yes, it's Walter Keane. It's Walter Keane. I'm so silly. It's Walter Keane. I... I forgot about the cabin. I'm the... <laughs> I forgot about the cabin. It's so obvious. Okay. But his attempts were fruitless. Here we go. During one attempt... Walter Keane was captured and Edmund Cloudsley convinced him to join his side. Uh, Edmund Cloudsley used the idol to make himself young and infiltrated the Brotherhood under the new identity of Lazarus Hurst. There he claimed to be Griffin Reborn and transformed the Brotherhood into the order party we're getting it this is like the full like just spelling everything out in the most full way I, I love this this is a great epilogue this is so good all right here we go brotherhood masters bum 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 by taking youth away from the common people and giving it to the order party members virtues so, the Brotherhood Masters, that was James Turner and Alistair Cock. They helped Lazarus Hurst seize power in the- oh, I put that in the wrong spot. They helped him seize power in the country and enforce the rule of virtues by taking youth away from common people and giving it to the Order Party members. Right before the final showdown with the uncooperative king, Lazarus Hurst wanted to kidnap Mary Batley, but was shot by Peter Batley, and the idol was broken. I did it! Thank you for playing! Oh, that was so good. What a great game. What a great, great game. Oh, that was so fun. I'm so excited for the DLC now. The Spider of Lanka and the Lemurian Vampire. I'm... No, oh, I'm excited. Yes, oh, can you mention something to see in the last level? Yes. You definitely can. I can look out the window. Oh. The man is not breathing. Donate to a veteran who lost his leg in the noble defense of his homeland. Half empty bottle of gin. Oof. Oof. <laughs> right, is there anything else? I'm gonna do a, a very cheeky highlight just to make sure. Yeah, I think that's all. Nice. Uh, also at the lighthouse, I can look at uh, the shoes. Yes, let me do that. Let me do that quickly. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, because I, I saw the shoes here. Like, I know that um, Walter Keane has the pointy ones. But then Lazarus has the the heel spur ones, which was why I was so confused. Because I thought in this one, like, when I look here, it looks like Lazarus's shoes. <laughs> Unless, like, Yeah, oh yeah, no, I know I know at the lighthouse I could look at the shoes. Like I already looked at these shoes. But I wanted to see Oh no, I can see those. Oh, I can see his shoes. I can see all of their shoes. I didn't realize. Okay. <laughs> well now I've looked at them. Look at all those shoes. I thought they were like hidden under his coat. It's because there was grass behind him. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that would make so much sense. Yeah, like horse riding spurs. That makes a lot of sense. That would be why. Especially because his horse, like, ran off without him. 
So yeah, I guess Lazarus was just burnt to a crisp in his old family home. What a good time though, what a good game. That was so fun. Oh, that that's also a good point too. Like imagine wearing the same pair of shoes for five years. You say that, but the, the boots that I wear when I go out, I've had them for like eight years now. And I'm still gonna keep wearing them for years more. Like I just I just really love these boots. They're just really nice boots. <laughs> so I am that person. I am that person wearing the same pair of shoes for five years. Cause I just buy really good quality ones and then I just wear them out. <laughs> But yeah, that was so much fun. What a good game. But uh, it is uh, 20 to 2 in the morning now. So it's probably time for me to see about going to bed. So I'm going to... I'm gonna head on over to here and we can find a raid target. Let's see who's online. Let's see who we can send a raid over to. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Who is live? I've, I've, I'm. I feel like my brain's falling out of my ears now. <laughs> I gotta try get some rest. But that was so fun. I, I want more games like this. I want more games that are literally just like find the clues, fill in the gaps, like those kind of games. That's what I want. Larry, aren't you just talking about crossword puzzles? No. I want the logic deduction side of things as well. Also, I just realized I missed a follow as well because I was getting so engrossed in everything. But Lackface Most Crazy, thank you for the follow! Welcome, welcome. Hope you've enjoyed your time here. Aw, uh, your shoes break quicker and you're not buying cheap ones. Oh no! Well, uh, I have the, the added bonus of um, not touching grass. So <laughs> I, I, I don't go out as often as most people, so I, I don't wear them out as quickly <laughs> i have that going for me just just little hermit things but uh, no they're, they're just really nice boots though they've they've served me so well it's the kind of boots where when i got them i thought they would wear out so much sooner than they like than they will but they're still really really good quality like they don't feel like they're going to disintegrate anytime soon like I'm, i've still got them for a few more years at least i'm pretty sure <laughs> So yeah, I've just been, I got lucky, I guess. I don't even remember where I got them from. They're just nice boots. They're just little ankle boots. Plain black ankle boots with, without like any detail or anything. Just tiny, tiny wedge heels ankle boots. But they're like the shoes that I always wear when I'm going out because they're just so easy to slip on and they're really comfy. And yeah, they're, they're my, my trusty boots. Anyway, let's find a raid target before I start talking about shoes for half an hour. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. That was so much fun. I'm so glad I got to play that. Uh, my schedule for next week will be up sometime tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be finally getting to do the collab with Barb that ended up having to be cancelled when my, my PC stopped working. So that's going to happen next week. And I was also toying with the idea of maybe doing a music stream. I don't know exactly what that would entail yet. I just feel like it could be fun. I just feel like it could be a lot of fun to do like a music stream. Like I've got some music creating programs and I would love to like learn how to use them. And I also have an automaton and a recorder and an ocarina that I don't know how to play. So I feel like music could be fun. Some kind of music, we'll see what happens. Just have like a little created stream, chatting and singing and creating yeah i think it'll be fun i need to brainstorm it a bit more but that could be a nice thing to do on tuesday we'll see how things go the schedule will be up tomorrow either way whether i decide to do music or not but then yes i'll be back again on friday with Baldur's gate 3 and then sunday again we'll be starting the dlc of this so most of the schedule is decided already <laughs> But yeah, let's let's get this raid set up. Who should I raid? Ooh, ooh. Oh, I was gonna raid Delphi and then I realized she's she's doing an Endwalker stream. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV. The first thing it says in the title is Endwalker spoilers. I, I I must avoid that. I can't I can't raid her. It's so sad. Oh, but 
hold on, how long's Asa been streaming for? Two and a half hours, yeah, they'll probably go a bit longer. I'm gonna send you over to Aza. Aza Naza is a lovely uh, bembo bunny. <laughs> They're just, they're just a lovely bunny creature. They're a lot of fun. I'm gonna send you over as his way. Right, so with that, I shall blah, blah, blah. make sure I've got the right raid message because knowing me, it's still the Family Friday one. Okay, I do have the right raid message. Here we go. <laughs> Here's the raid message. If you're subbed, we have fire. If you're not subbed, we still have fire. In honor of uh, Peter Batley's cannon. And I'm going to send you over to the lovely Aza Naza, who is playing Golden Sun, The Lost Age. But yeah, they're lovely. They're, they're a lovely bunny. And I don't know if I've, like, raided them before? I don't know if I have. Either way, if I have, it was a long time ago. So yeah, I'm going to send the raid over to Aza. Please send them lots of love from me. But oh, great job spotting Edmund. You didn't realize till chapter 11. For me, it was mostly like... I didn't realize it immediately, but then I was like, well, with all of the the life shenanigans things going on, I was I was immediately suspicious. Like the fact that uh, uh, David Goran was there, that was when I was like, well, it's making me think. And then like when that got confirmed, I was, I, I felt so proud. <laughs> Oh, you thought it was going the necromancy route. Yeah, see, that, that's what I thought to begin with as well. But then I was like, when I'm realizing it's like taking life out, putting life in. That was like, well, that, that could be used in different ways. But yeah, oh, I had suspicions, but didn't piece it together until the last chapter. It's so nice, though, when that happens, though. When you get to that moment where you, 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 you start theorizing and then have the sudden... What that means. Like, I love games that do that well. And this game did that so well. It was so fun. <laughs> but thank you. It was so much fun. What a good game. I can't wait for the DLC. I'm excited. But yes, I do have to go sleep now, so let me let me start the raid going. To stop me from being tempted to keep talking more. <laughs> as fun as it is. Like I wish I could just sit here and chat all night. But I I do need to get some rest. At least a little bit. Hopefully, please. But yeah, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. It's been so much fun. I, I love this game. And I will be back next week at some point. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> when will I be back? Sometime. Look forward to it. <laughs> thank you so much everyone for joining me today. And until next time, bye bye!